Hello, I am here, and uh, I'm also queer, as you know. And Rock Pillar is playing with my cat. You sushi? Yeah, I've never actually uh, tried sushi before. Um, I think I tried like a sample at Fry's or some shit, so I don't really count that. But I haven't eaten it before. I don't like fish very much. It doesn't really sound good. But everybody I know loves fucking. Anyway, so uh, obviously this is the Bob Ross stream that was supposed to happen yesterday, but um, I uh, am mentally ill and I stayed up too long on Monday night. So it's happening now instead. And so does it not hurt your neck to have the camera high? Uh, not really, because it's like right. It's all, it's sitting on top of my monitor, so it's right here, and I sit really fucked up anyway so my neck and back always hurt a little bit <laughs> okay we're starting with stream raiders because it's my favorite game my favorite game and it, i uh still don't i don't understand how to like work it as a captain because i'm so used to working it as a like viewer So I think Fallon is still trying to work on getting stuff to level 10. Too big flag bearer. Oh, this is the cute one with like the little bank and saloon and stuff from uh, the Orchromeda event. They had this in the little advertisement. Two banks? Oh, I thought they're, oh, they are, okay. Jail. Holy shit. Okay, anyway, join the Stream Raiders battle so that we don't lose because this one's got three skulls, and that means that it's um, not easy. So you've got to join. Piece of piss as a captain. You only place down one unit. Yeah, I know it sucks, but also it's nice to not have to go back and forth every four seconds. Yay. Thanks, Rock Pillar. Okay, so now... I don't know why this keeps happening to paint. Okay, there we go. But that's doing its thing. And then I am going to be doing MS Paint along with Bob Ross. It's, it's that easy. Uh, I've never used MS Paint before. Um, I literally just installed it the other day. Uh, I toyed with some of the brushes yesterday, so I, a little bit now, <laughs> but, you know, this is gonna, we're gonna see how this turns out, this is gonna be an experience, you know, I need to send, I need to send you some random steam keys at some point, yeah, you do, that would be nice, uh, I don't think that I, I looked at the list of your games, I don't think that I knew any of them, so, you can just send me some random ones, too, probably. I only use MS Paint. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah, I uh, just barely started using GIMP anyway, so. I'm going to start a little bit of music. It's going to be low, because we're uh, prioritizing Bob Ross's. And then in the little corner, I've got uh, Bob Ross. Let me know if uh, he's too loud or anything. I can... Or too quiet. So cute when it sleeps. I love it. Hell yeah. Thank you, Steve. Hmm. Also, the screen that um, he's playing on is like way to my right. So if I keep, if I'm like looking over I like that, it, that's why. This, allow me to extend a personal invitation for you to get your brushes and and your paints and paint. Bob Ross just got painted over. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Watching shows. 
Mm -hmm. I was watching that the other day when I uh, was fucking around with it, uh, all my settings. Put some of nature's masterpieces right here on the canvas. Where in the shit is my cursor, dude? Started. Today we'll have run all the colors across the screen right there. Oh, okay, fucking me. To paint along with us. While they're doing that, let me tell you what I've got going up here. Our skilled smells. Using an 18 by 24 inch. That's what the cat should say. Double prime pre-stretched canvas, but you use whatever size you'd like. And I've just covered the. What are the hex codes for these colors? Coat of liquid white. The liquid white is designed just to make the canvas wet and, and to make it slick. It allows us to actually blend color right here on the canvas. Makes your whole painting life a lot easier. So let's get You can started. actually make shapes in that. Maybe I should use this instead of Gimp. Gimp sucks. Hope you'll enjoy. Let's start with a little two inch brush and a touch of the Uh, which one is two inches? Just is that like the big one? To the bristles. Pull a little paint out. Tap the bristles firmly. Shit, I don't know what and color he said. Nice oh. Even distribution of paint like, all the way through the and bristles. And let's go right up here. And we'll take this old brush and just making little X's, little crisscross strokes. We'll just very quickly drop in Hello? just a little warm part in the sky here. Maybe we'll have a little pink in the Maybe sky. Maybe I should use like more of a pink. Like and in Exit. our world, we can do anything that we want to this do. This is going to look like a fucking um, party cup. There. I don't know. Can I like blend? The brush is two inches wide. Oh, okay. Without even cleaning the brush. We'll go right Brand. into, right into little phthalo blue. Like the airbrush like instead? No, that sucks very ass. Warm blue. Very nice. I like this. Once again, just tap a little color into it and let's go back up here. Oh shit, he's moved on to another so color. Using a little is that like that? X's. That's all they are, little X's. Oh, little he says X's, I'm like sorry. The blue. Something about like so. Then we'll come back after we Hard to do like X's like, we'll like that with uh, a mouse. Now the blue is many, many times stronger than this little pink area. It'll just eat it up, so be careful. Be careful. All go away. If you want to make the indication of a happy little cloud, all you do is just sort of tap. Little stringy cloud just lives right there in the brush. And that easy. We're blending. There we go. Now there are, now it's kind of X's, right? See? That's going a little bit better. What did he say? White for cloud? I don't know, fucking I love water. And it's very easy to paint in this style. Still water is always level. And I think today we'll have still water. So pull from the outside. You think this is blender? Outside. Oh shit. Something about like so. What is is that a yeah okay? All right. Well, I have a little brush going. I want to darken the corners a little bit. I'm gonna take a little Prussian blue and just add in the corners here and there. Fucking tell me the hex codes. And we'll go over to the other side. You do it both sides. And add a little more, and then down toward the bottom. We'll put a little down here too. Oh God, he's just going so fast. Blue in each corner to darken it. And then Darker. the most fun part of this whole technique. Oh God, this is awful. Since these are oil paints, I'm already ready to restart this. With odorless paint thinner. Shake off the excess. How do I wash? <laughs> and just beat, beat it. it. That's really the most fun part of it. Now with a clean brush, and it's relatively dry from just beating it. I need a blender. Area, which is the pink, and we'll blend it all together. Is there? <laughs> ah. Uh. Um, uh, um, okay, so I'm just gonna, um, add some more pink. There. But it's that easy. That easy. This canvas is What's smaller than mine. I need to make this? this stuff a little bit bigger. So anybody, anybody like this. can put a masterpiece on canvas. What's the other just one? Just a little bit of practice. Back like this. Right? And there we go. Now it's kind of, now it's at least, like, okay. going That's working so well. together. Take a little white. A little bit of the blue. Oh more shit, more he's moving on. I want to make a light add more color, clouds. Mostly phthalo blue. And let's just tap a little color into the bristles. So we use, I should probably use a better brush. Here. Watch here, watch here, watch here. I like this brush, but I think this was a mistake. Take a corner of the brush and just pull down. Something about like so. Straight down, straight down. What is this man doing? Little distant trees live far back in the distance. Oh no. More color. And we'll just have I used way too like bright of a blue. Right there. In your world, you create any illusion that you want. Ugh. I'm sorry, Bob Ross. But I want to keep the bottom light so it looks like mist. You could even take another two-inch brush, and I have several, and tap it. Which is the painting and which is the one you're making on MS Paint? I can't tell. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Right down oh, mist. Okay, maybe what? Like this little kind of like purple? It's a lot of fun. Put several layers. It helps create depth in your painting. 
And for that, depth of this, more blue, but we make it a little darker. Add a little bit of Prussian blue to it and make it a little darker, but the same thing. And we'll come back and let's put another little layer in here. What is this man doing? We're touching and pulling downward. That's all we're doing. Another, uh, another really layer. I don't do. think that MS Paint works like this. Yeah. Maybe I should. Hmm. And we don't know where that goes. It doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> Back to our other two we're just gonna add some more. Maybe, we'll tap this. Maybe I'll figure out the brushes on along the way, cause you know, this, this is a learning experience, right? Because of the difference Shit. in color, difference Shit. in value, difference in color. So like, the misty area turns out to be your very best friend. Take care of it, treasure it. There. What is it? Slightly okay. darker. Let's have some more fun. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take some. Blue. There we go. Kind some of Prussian blue. And a little phthalo blue, it doesn't matter. We just throw it on there. Crimson too. What the heck? Be brave. Whoa, dude. Be brave. What I'm color is he making? Sap green in there too. It's getting close enough. We should begin seeing Man, some do color. A little bit of white. Don't want it totally dark yet. There. Perfect. Okay, let me wipe the old knife off. And let's get us a mm, fan brush. We'll use a fan brush. Load it full of color. Both sides. Both sides. Okay, let's go up in here. And maybe in our world, there lives, it does now, some little trees back in here. Now these are a little closer. You're seeing a little more detail, a little more distinct. There, and we just drop them in. We don't know where they go. Oh, it's smaller. Wherever you want. That's exactly, exactly what oh. you should do. Don't put too much detail in here. It's too far away. You're not gonna see a lot of detail. You see detail when it's very close to you. <laughs> Things are far away. You make out form, shape, basic <laughs> color. That's all. <laughs> I'm sorry. See you detail. <coughs> the lack of detail helps also create that illusion of distance and depth in your painting. It's very, very important. Very important. Yeah, there's really a okay. I'm gonna tap a lack of distance and depth in this, That'll for sure. Illusion of mist down there too. Not too bad, I guess. It kind of Light. a little bit gets the point. No, not really. I mean, like, contextual, if you know the context, no, like, it gets the point across. The but if you just, like, opened this up, somebody sent it to you in an email and you open this up, you'd be like, color. We'll you okay? Too much brush touch. Are you having a stroke? Pull down. Just pull straight down. It's most important. It's like, what did he do? A little bit darker? Something like so. Straight down. Oh my god, what is this man doing? Oh, I didn't add enough trees. Very lightly go across. I didn't realize he was doing all that crazy shit. Instantly. Man's we have some nice reflections. That's some on a fucking roll. How come How can he do me. this in what fucking 30 plane? minutes? If you want to create another plane in your paint. I'm about to do a little white. This, I'm not going to pause this video. And it'll make little areas what, I don't I'm just trying to add like little like branches kind of the will end up looking like little trunks in those trees. Show that they're trees. There. And easy. Let's put a little water line. For that, we'll use liquid white. Pull it out very flat, flat as you can get it. Cut across. Scribble, okay. scribble, scribble. And we can go right up in here. And we can just drop in just a little water line. This happy little water line lives back in here somewhere. We don't know where it is. Don't know that we even care. Just let your imagination take you anywhere you want to go. A lot of times I start a painting and have nothing in mind but the time of day. <coughs> And the time of year. Oh man. And from that, you can paint some fantastic little scenes. Don't worry about it. You don't always have to I have make the blue. Should I do more blue? I think I just keep doing like less because this canvas is so much smaller than mine. And it's, it's like any other muscle in your body, or like a muscle in your body. The more you practice, the better it becomes. Take some black Prussian blue. I want to put some phthalo green in there. I like phthalo green. Maybe a little crimson. There we go. All right, let me wipe off the knife. I just wiped. Oh God, where's the? Oh, okay. Little Wait, show me the, show me the color. Shit, show me the color. Little fan brush. Load some color into it. Both sides of the brush. Both what color is he? Goddamn me. Let's have. Oh, is it kind of like this? Oops. Let's have a little Fuck! Don't yell at me. He lives right there. See? Just make a line. A little bit. The corner of the brush. Make a touch. Make another one. And just sort of work from the center out. There it goes. It's easier to do them fast. This tree is slow. dying. Here they come. Just sort of back and forth. I had a lady in class one time tell me, 
It was like making Z's, the letter Z. She called them Z trees. Z tree. Oh yeah, okay. That's actually uh from the center out. The center of the tree should be the thickest. I can see. I know that that probably didn't translate the way that I was just doing it cuz I'm a little bit dumb, but on this side. We'll have one more now. There we go. Have a little Oh wait, so I should um You know, if you I can figure this out. I think everybody no. should have a friend. Even if <laughs> even the tree needs a friend. I'm just going to keep doing it the way I'm doing it. Those just pop in some so cute. indications of where they are. No big deal. See? Because we don't make mistakes here. We have happy accidents. Very quickly, you learn to work with anything that happens. Take the big brush, pull down, straight down once again, and then go across. And we have instant reflections. I just use that same fan brush. It has that color we made the tree out of it. I go through. What the fuck did he just do? I, did, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy Ooh, looking at the colors. Green. Oh shit, green! I love green. There we are. Let's go like that. that. And we can take that green. And let's go back and put some highlights on our little evergreen tree. So I'll there. use the. Uh... All right. So the tree here. Oh. He's saying, "Don't leave me out. I need some too." There we are. There we are. There we are. All right. Put a little liquid white right on that same brush. Oh shit! We'll hold on. Lighten the color and make it a little thinner. Too much. A thin paint. We'll stick to a thick paint. We mix them back up again. Let's go back up here, and we can just take this brush and let's just pop in the indication of some little bushes that live down here, right down in these little foots. How do I fucking? I don't know how. How's that? How does this shit How's work? Little eye I'm so dirt there. I thought this would be so Let's easy. Some white, a little dark sienna. Mix them together, cut off a little roll of paint. Let's go up in here. And we'll take this and we'll just put the indication here of a little bit of soil, some dirt of some kind. We've got to have a place that this is a little island for all this to sit on. All right. See there? That's all there is to it. Okay. All right, we got to figure out something to do on the other side now. Let's have some fun. Like a little turtle. Let's have some fun. You know, if you've painted with me before, I like I like old big trees. Let's take a little old bit of color right tree. there. Let's go right up in here. This is your bravery test. Take the corner of the old two-inch brush. Be dark blue. And let's just begin laying in a basic shape here. Oh, tree that lives right there. Right there. Big old tree. But he's a nice tree. There he is. I don't know. Another watercolor. Oh, I got that brush going. What, maybe let's do something about like this. And we'll just tap in all kinds of little, little bushy looking areas. You have to decide what lives here. <laughs> the color of blue was the problem, not the fact that you're using MS paint instead of actual paint. Fuck. You're right though. Oh, what did I just, why did I do that? Ruined it for a second. Cameron would be proud of this image. So yeah, where's Cameron? So Should be here. On, our light color will show. We'll just grab a, there's a, whoops. Grab my own. There's a fan brush right there. Take a little white. I don't like that. A little bit of the dark sienna. This would make the indication here, maybe a little tree trunk, maybe a little more dark sienna. That's nice. Okay, and right here. Just want some indications. I'm gonna put some happy little leaves on there, so we're gonna cover most of them. Okay, I could put. Most could just of them won't show. We'll go right into that. Get a little sap green, a little bit of the yellow. We'll just put it right on this two-inch brush. Give it a little push. Good shot there. You can see. This is way too orange. Okay, let's go up in here. Oh shit! Bright ass green. Yeah, I want to put some leaves on here. Need again. Just the corner of the brush. Just the corner of the brush. There we go. See, that's all there is to it. Just the corner. Think about shape and form. Drop these little rascals in wherever you want them. Wherever. You really are the creator on this piece of camera. I'm thinking about like the thumbnail for like anybody who's browsing Twitch right now and sees this. That you want here. When I go home, the only power I have is over the I mean, I guess you can kind of tell it's a tree. Oh, this doesn't look anything like what he just did. Push right there. And tell you what. 
Let's get crazy. You know me. If you've painted with me before. Yeah, the X's don't translate, yeah. Big trees, and we have one living. Yeah, but the trees are oh. right there. There you go. Another fucking tree. Crazy. Faster. There we go. Just drop it in. Oh, hold on a second. I forgot about that. Um, what was I using? All right. Ew. What did I just oh, fucking? Big tree. I Here, he said it. he used like the bigger. This is a monster tree. Huge tree. And you could have done it with a two inch brush just as easy, but much quicker. I like yeah, that. I've got to speed it up because I'm, um, I'm behind on this. Here we go with my smaller tree because I think he needs a Got a little bit of. There. And. Hey, just drop it in. All we're doing once again is putting in the background color. You could put this in with a with a paint roller. It doesn't matter. I need like a as long as the glass. Shape is right. We'll come back and separate all of this with some nice oh, like, highlights. Here's oh. a little brown and white. We would put the indication just here and there. How about that? Trunk. Just what you can see here and there. There. You don't see oh. it all because you have leaves on this side. Yeah, that's too small. We go back to our little fan brush. Oh God, hold on a second. Through the cad yellow, yellow ochre. Why does he keep making me fuck my cool trees up with these sticks? Let's put a highlight or two on here. Evergreens are normally darker than other trees. So don't don't kill all the dark area in your in your evergreen. It happens sometimes. It gets feeling good and you don't know when to stop. There. And don't know when to the stop. Trees should be darker than the top. Big shadow areas underneath. It. Those shadow areas are where all my little friends live. Oh, I blend my colors. In previous shows we've had, <laughs> like Peapod the Pocket Squirrel, my little squirrel that lives with me. We've had him on the show. But this is kind of places that he Hello? likes. Hello? Oh. I let's forgot how to work a it. Bit of color. Let's use the, let's use the one inch brush. We'll go through some. Yeah, like darker. Some sap I'm green and some yellow. Load a lot of color into the brush. More sap green. Whew. That's nice. Right, then we can go up here Dark. and we can begin picking out individual bushes one at a time, one at a time. There's a happy little bush, he lives right there. You knew he was there, didn't you? And he's got a little friend named Clyde, he lives right over here. Clyde? There he is. So you can give all these things names. Hang on, I'm still on the, um, okay. still on this part. I'll take the little oil oh. brush, dip it in some paint this. thinner. Can you take it? We'll go through some down a notch. Midnight black and some brown. Not Once this fast. Oh, shit. I missed, bullet. like, what he fucking did. I can. Then I'm going to take, and with the other side, I'm going to... I guess I'll see it in a second. I made earlier. I'm just going to go through. See? Like that. What are all these ugly black. colors I've created? Ooh, that's nice. Now, with that... What the hell? I just want to come up here. What is that? This? Make the indication. You can't see them. Too much of them. Of some rocks Kinda like that. up there. Just some happy little rocks. Oh, he did like a moss thing. I see, I see it. There. Something Big fat forever. like. Just some indications. Then we'll come back with our brush we were making the bushes with. And we'll settle those right down into the painting. There now, see? Fuck, I already forgot and what he did. Some part of the painting. There we go. Like so. And we'll make all kinds of little bushes and trees and happy little things that live here in our world. The rock. All right. Okay. Shoot. We had such a place as that I had to go fishing. Oh, that's. There. I like to fish. But I'm not a very good. When are they gonna put fishing in Bob Ross? Take the hook carefully out of his mouth and put a band-aid on him, little CPR, and pat him on the tutu and put him back in the water and go back and catch him again another day. But torturing him get up here if we go that's through. torture we should take a little of the van dyke brown oh i'm not doing oh shit. he's like path. going crazy with the green on a second we had to walk all through these bushes mosquitoes would get us so eaters let's have us a little path all the way we can walk sword. back in here and catch a big old trout or bass whatever it is that lives in here i think i need more of there yeah. take a little bit of let's find some white i don't remember what color i use mix it together a little what this color. was, but just barely touching. Wasn't this? Let it graze. Let it graze. Let 
easy. That is yeah, I should have done like waves in this guy. So. Histories. Okay. There. Now then, let's put something on this side. We have something on the other side of the path. Now let's go on this side. Once again, I'm gonna take a one inch brush. Notice that it's straight. I don't know how to translate painting it's very most, well. This is, I'm, I mean, I'm that doing amazing, sweetie. Let's put some moss on the rock. Edge. There we go. I'm gonna turn it. Put that that fixed it. That's what did it. It's most important. Like, and then we take that, and we go right up like in cool. here. No pressure, hardly. Just enough to get the brush to touch the canvas. And we begin working on shape and form. This a again. Bush or a tree that lives right there. That's all there is to it. And Looks there's the another one, but do one at a time. I know, I know. Put berries on it. It starts working, you get greedy. Do one at a time. One at a time. And put a little bright red on there. Maybe here's one right here. Oh, yeah, it's got little, I don't know if you can see them. It's got little red flowers on the tip. <laughs> Sneaky. There. We can go back over in here, and we can begin adding in just little things that come out here on the path. About like that. All right. All right. You got your brushes warmed up yet, and you ready? You can do this. Boop, boop. Oh. You can do this. I know you can. Yeah, those are my bushes. Very bushes. Letters every Some day. zero. Who is this imposter on my screen? What have you done with Foop? Never believed that is Foop. I am Foop. I am Foop. Friends and neighbors don't believe it. When Hostile takeover. Things, but they, they are doing it. No. It can't be. Right there. That's right. Foop is dead. He's supposed to be here. And he was active when I woke up. And then he, like, went to sleep as soon as I was going to start streaming because he hates me. And that happens in nature. My foot's already falling asleep from sitting on top of it. All right. Oh shit! This man do. All kinds of little dooters. Dooters. Maybe over in here. And these little details are what make your painting look a little more finished. Take your time when you're doing these, and just drop Ew. them in here and there and there and wherever. Take a little. Oh fucking light. Christ, dude! Well, that's a spider. When you mix this, get it very thin. This shit, shit, what did he just do? Oh my god, what did he... Almost inconsistent. Well, that's like... Turn the bristles bit lighter, and bring though. it to a very sharp point. There you, there you see it good against that dark. All right? And where it's very dark, yeah, we that's... make little light trees. Where it's light, we make dark trees. Because they're, they both exist... Branches are shaped like that, right? <laughs> Fucking Christ. A little tree Let the spider right. draw. That was a good time. Looks out over the water. Talks to the fish. It. Another way of what do you do? Draw a fish? Oh shit, sure, he did like reflections. Clean, clean knife. And you can reach up in here and just scrape right through the paint. No, I can't. Make all kinds of little sticks. Sir? And let's come down here and we'll make a few more in here and wherever. You decide where they live. Sometimes sticks. Sometimes evergreens here have old dead limbs hanging off of them. Sticks. And you can do that just with a little flick of the knife. Sticks. And shoot with that. Sticks. We about have a finished painting. Sticks. That easy. Let's take a little bit of the paint thinner. A little bright red. You'd add some like that. Little rascal. Really hope you've enjoyed it. It's a very simple painting that you can do. And if you try it, I'd love to see some photographs of what you're doing. So if you have. Yeah. Some, take a photo. I bet you would, dude. Until then, from all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting, and God bless, my friend. All right, there it is. That's, uh, this is it. That's, uh, it's all covered up by all the, 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 uh, YouTube ads. But, you know, it's pretty good. I think I did, uh, pretty amazing, didn't I? All right, don't get ahead of yourself, YouTube. Save as. Uh, what the hell was that one called? Was that like the, um, what was the island one? Sure. It's like hesitating to save it. it says, please no. How close is stream? Okay, stream writers is going to be ready in one minute, so I'm just going to, um, I think I'll...
Should I just wait that out until it starts? Because I don't want to have to pause it. In the um. But yeah, so... Along with the Bob Ross stream, uh, if uh, you buy or gift a uh, submission... If you buy or gift a subscription to the Foop channel, I will stop and do like a little commission thing for you on this. And, well, obviously within like a realm of like, I'm not going to draw a swastika, but I'll draw you something, whatever you ask me to. But you got to gift or buy a sub. Ha ha ha. That's the catch. That's the catch. Is that a tattoo on your arm? Yeah, I've got, or I don't know which arm you mean, but, um, hard to see because it's such a light tattoo, but it's a, uh, beta fish and it's like a blue and purple one. It's based off of one that I used to own and I have a friend who has the exact same tattoo, but hers is red because she had a red beta fish at the time. Uh, and then this arm has like all the planet symbols on it. Ugh, sorry, I, there you go. What about the alpha fish? Yeah, I know. That'd be pretty epic, wouldn't it be? That would... That's... That's just the female, uh, mm. beta fish. That's just the, 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 the ladies. <laughs> Maybe even omega fish, perhaps? Oop, humor tattoo when? Yeah, um, I think we were talking, I, I think it was on a stream a few days ago about some kind of goal and I'll get a tattoo. I don't remember how many we decided on. Some, like, big sort of, like, amount of subs, uh, subs and I would get a foop-related tattoo. New cum tattoo? Probably not a cum tattoo because I still um, have a father. So I <laughs> don't think that's a good idea. But yeah, any, I'll, I could get like a, one of the emotes or something or just something foop related or he could just draw something. I don't know how we're exactly going to do it, but I don't think it would be an awful idea. I like tattoos. These aren't the only tattoos that I have. I've got um, this pair right here. Uh, which, I don't know if you can read, but the sticker, sorry, I don't, where am I pointing at? What is happening? Okay, maybe if I just actually, like, look at the tattoo and point at it. Um, it says rum ham on it, on the sticker, because it's uh, an Always Sunny in Philadelphia reference. The pair is from the episode where they're at the marketplace, and Carly eats a pair for the first time. <clears throat> and then I put rum ham on the sticker, because rum ham, obviously. Uh, and then I've got my other tattoos are all on my legs and I've got jeans on, but sometime if I'm wearing shorts, I'll show them off. I've got like a cat skull and a cat, uh, head, one thigh on, or a, sorry, cat skull on one thigh and a cat head on the other thigh. I've got Uranus on my, uh, calf and I've got an Aquarius constellation on my ankle too. Stream Raiders is ready. Didn't even, it didn't tell me again. Oh yeah, I did. Just kidding. I just didn't pay attention because, you know, I'm only thinking about myself. Okay, let's see. Um, mostly melee. That guy though. <laughs> I like everything being far away from my uh, flag bearer, except the thing that's going to get away from my flag bearer the quickest. Um. Fuck if I know. I don't understand how uh, spell placement works. I think I'm stupid. Anyway, start battle. These people are waiting for their coins and their scrolls. Yeah, I fixed the music, so now it's not fucking blaringly loud like it was the first couple of times. I want to do voice acting for this game. The flag bear is just like taking care of business, dude. Holy shit. Wait, what is he doing? Oh no, he's uh, I thought he was hitting somebody, but he's um just helping Rock Pillar's artillery get all of the kills.
That guy just like came out of the fucking bar and immediately got engulfed in flame. That would suck ass. Okay, rock pillar, make your artillery shoot faster. So they, these battles always take such a long time because even the ones where um, people have like hundreds of units on the battlefield, it takes forever because there's still hundreds of enemies too. Yeah, that rogue is like, give me the money. Give me the money. What is that thing? Ah! Slime follow? I kind of feel bad for him. Okay. You've got two more buildings left. Come on. Oh, shit. How did I... How didn't I guess that that was gonna happen? Things inside of the buildings? Go take care of this shit. How long has it been? I didn't expect it to take this long. Dun, 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 dun. He just. Uh oh. No! No! How could you? Uh oh. Wait, are we gonna lose? Wait, what's going on? Are these guys on our side? Oh shit, they are. We did like call in enforcements? Like, <laughs> they're like, oh shit, we don't want people to lose. They get mad and stop playing. These guys just like. I can't believe uh, Flag Bear is still- oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Steve! Oh shit! Dude, <laughs> I just saw the timer in the corner like they fucking uh, added a- <laughs> They're like, we don't want this to take too long. We heard you complaining. What was in the chest? Um, alright, so somebody's getting 50 coins, which is nice. And then somebody's getting one healer scroll. That seems pretty even to me. What? That's more for viewers, right? Yeah, okay. So. Okay. Rock Pillar, I will give you that 50. So then. This one or this one? They're both silver chests and the same difficulty. But this one goes towards this gold chest. Oh, wait, but this one goes towards. I guess it doesn't matter because we can wrap back up. Go this way. Oh my god, the flag bearer is already ready. That's so weird. Alright, what's... What's good? Who wants to, uh, do... Hey, man, what's up, dog? Alright, get your units in so that we can, uh, win this one and, uh, by ourselves. Not with reinforcements next time. Thanks for the epic boy, Rock Pillar, but um, I don't see a skin on your character. A little bit cringe, isn't it? In it! Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm skinless. That would be kind of gross. It's just like all muscle or something. My second time placing a unit. Yeah, we um, started doing Stream Raiders a few weeks ago. And now, for some reason, I'm just, like, obsessed with it. And play it on the off hours all the time, just on other people's battlefields, because I'm a cheater. And so I've got a ton of skins, and um, I actually won a skin. Somebody did a skin gift, like, giveaway thing in a chat that I've been in before. I guess I was in the chat history and I got a skin yesterday and it's actually kind of cute, but we're not on my account right now. So I guess I could open my laptop and I could play. No, 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 no. That's a bad idea. Then I'll be distracted every like five minutes. Okay. So now we're going to start round two of the Bob Ross stream and you saw how well the first one went. So, um, we're just going to dive right in with this one.
The music is so loud. His voice is so, like, calm and quiet compared to it. Terra Stinky. Drown Terra? Oh, God. Yeah, you could. I've got plenty of water. I don't stink, though. I took a shower, uh, like, within, like, the last week. Hello. Uh oh, spaghetti I'd like to welcome you to the joy of painting. Did the this is a one-hour instructional tape designed to Why take you step I've got by the step alert. through a beautiful painting Sorry project. Sorry about that. If that didn't actually come tape, through, we will paint a picture which has All never right. been seen All right. hold on the joy on, hold of painting on, television on. series, Bob Ross. and we'll have sufficient time to demonstrate in Sorry, detail I've... the very. Having it on the TV is like fucked up too. I like for me to get my mouse adjusted in on there. All right, hang on. Let me. Um... Oh my God, there's so many. Let me fill this up to the top first so that I can, like, finish it. Alright. I'm gonna die. What if I did this and then I was like, all right, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go throw up. I do have to, like, not chug it because if I chug it, I will throw it up because that's just how my body is. But I also do need to hydrate because I haven't been drinking enough water lately. New waterboarding foop reward for one million fapples. Holy shit, that's so many fapples. Um, but also, I would be willing to save up that amount so that I could torture foop. Right, that's like basically. Well, except the ice. I'm gonna have to actually go get water later this <clears throat> Yeah, Foop, uh, I think mentioned... Sorry, I'm gonna burp a whole lot. <clears throat> um, Foop mentioned, uh, adding, like, a drowned Foop feature, too. Or, not feature, but reward, since people like to spam it. Oh, I think that would be a good idea. Probably like thousand. Ten thousand? I've got like fifty thousand fapples. Why are you talking about yourself in the third person, Cat W? I'm not foop. I'm the imposter. I'm sus, not foop. By people, they mean me. <clears throat> you are half foop. OP, as some would say. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I need, like, a... I mean, sometimes people call me C's. Sometimes, like, usually if they shorten my, uh... My C's the Gap username to anything. Okay, I drink, like, one and a half of these. Or, like, one and a quarter. I'll keep drinking. I'm gonna stop for now. Otherwise, I'm gonna uh, explode. And also, I'm gonna have to pee in about 20 minutes, probably. Watch. Alan is the FO. What's FO? Oh, oh, and. <laughs> Fuck, he's the foo, and I'm the oop. That's... Sorry. I don't want to watch the pee. Oh my god. Oop. Alright. Hey, I'm oop, everybody, and we're gonna do a Bob Ross stream. Uh, this is gonna be number two. Uh... The Grander of Summer. 
one hour special. Uh oh, this one's gonna be a big one, boys. But at least I'll probably actually maybe be able to get this one to turn out okay. I feel like now that I've done the first one, maybe this one will come out a little bit more coherent. But we still have the problem where, like, I can't really blend stuff, so. Although, I have the power of using any, literally any color I want. But this man does not provide hex codes. What the fuck is titanium white? Definitely not F6. Various steps and procedures used to create individual effects. Think of this tape as a private lesson in my studio. And I've reserved this front row seat just for you. Me? To start off, I suggest you get a tall glass of iced tea, sit back, and view the tape in its entirety before you begin painting. This way, you will have a preconceived idea. Okay, so we're going to sit here for one hour, and you're going to watch me watch this, and then I'm going to replay it and paint along with it. You, you may run the tape back and see it again to see exactly how a particular effect was made. Pay close attention I'm to not the that way tools are loaded to achieve certain effects. A great deal of the magic occurs right here on the palette. Take your time and work at your own pace. Speed will come with practice. This is the project mm -hmm. we'll be painting Bob Ross today. Speed Run. I think you will find this oh, painting shit. fun as well as an excellent learning experience. I strongly suggest that you use this painting only as a guide and add your own ideas to it. Oh, of course. We each see nature through different eyes, and your painting should reflect I'll your probably, visions. I'll make it look exactly like that. Devote some time to practice and become familiar with each piece of equipment. And very soon, you too will experience the joy of painting. Before we get started, let's put a complete supply list on the screen, listing all the materials you need to paint this fantastic Except scene. Except for the hex codes. Then I'll be back in just evil. a second. I'll be back in just a second. His like fucking BRB screen when he's streaming. Two inch brush, one inch brush, Number six fan brush, number two liner brush, number ten painting knife. Sorry, my light's in front of the TV. Liquid white, easel, clear plastic palette, odorless thinner, canvas, pre stretched, double primed. Thanks, Bob. Back to you, Bob. Back to you, Bob. All right. Three, two, one. Back to you, Bob. Back to you. <laughs> okay. This man needs to take a minute, apparently. Gotta smoke some weed. Sometimes it takes me this long to, like, I'm not ready. I'll just change my position because my foot's falling asleep anyway. All right, three. Back to you, Bob. Imagine, like, you start playing this video and you're, uh, not able to pause it because it's just playing live on TV and, uh, you live in the fucking 90s and you're, like, uh, scrambling to get all these colors together and all the, uh, supplies and shit. Welcome back. Uh, holy shit! Got all materials out, ready to do a fantastic painting with Bob said no. Good. Tell you what, though, before we get started, let me take no. just a moment of your time and talk a little bit about the equipment that we're going to be using today. First of all... The main oh two God. brushes that we'll use. Oh, shit. We have here a two inch and a one inch natural bristle brush. That's the two inch I one, know right? These may look like house painting brushes, but these are high quality artist house brushes. Pa Imagine painting a house with a technique. two inch brush. Don't confuse these with synthetic brushes such as nylon. Dude. Polyester, etc. It absolutely won't work. The painting knives that we'll be using. We'll use two different knives. We have a number 10. Does this knife, have, like, this doesn't two. have a knife. It's got pens. And a number five knife. It's basically the same knife, only smaller, and it allows you to get into to smaller areas and, and do detail work. With these knives, you can create unbelievable effects. You can paint mountains and trees and roads and stones, rocks, houses. It's, it's unreal what you can do with those son of a guns. I look so white. Why is we'll it so bright right now? Fan brush. This is a number six fan brush right here. Now, this is a bristle fan brush. 
It's quite firm, has a lot of spring to it. It's not a soft little delicate brush. It's quite, quite stiff. With that, you can do such things as clouds, trees, waterfalls. A I think it's just bright because the screen is white instead brush. of... Also, uh, in the way of brushes, we'll be using a gamer a screen. Two you guys know what brush. I mean. Now, this is the brush that we use to do fine detail, and most important, this is the brush that we use to sign. Well, up you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that I'm white Some as of the fuck. Other things that we'll use: liquid white. Liquid white is a thin oil base coat. With this, we cover the canvas to make it wet, make it slick. It allows us to watching this always makes me want to actually go and right on the get canvas rather than working ourselves paint death and a half palette. real paint. The paints that we use, the paints that we use are specifically designed for this technique. Because I think it actually, if I did They're this on with a real canvas and real paint, paint, the actual supplies, I think it would come out really paint, good. <laughs> you're going to you're going to end up being a mud mixer and you're going to be upset with me. Purchase a paint that's designed for this specific. Technique. Yeah, I know mud it mixing is a real problem with uh, MS Paint. Enough. Other pieces of equipment that will make your job easier. The palette that you use. I chugged I all like that ice water and I'm palette. cold as hell. And you need a palette that's big enough to give you sufficient work area when you're using big brushes. Because with a brush is big, you need a nice area to work in. If you've got a little teeny that palette, is cool palette as hell. you're going to kill yourself trying to stay in this little area. Get you a nice big palette. It really will work fine. Plexiglass makes a good palette. Now, normally it's very clear. I've scuffed this one up so it doesn't shine on TV. But normally they're crystal clear. Okay. Normal. Also, another thing that will you can uh, rub a banana peel on it. Series, you know, I, I beat the brush against the leg of the easel. Beat it. Paint thinner goes everywhere. Can ruin a happy marriage in a heartbeat. This is called a brush beater rack. You would know. And it's just a little wire rack that goes in the bottom of a waste paper Looks basket. Looks like monkey bars. And you shake the brush inside of the basket. Then you beat the devil out of it right on these. Beat it. These little wire you things just beat here, it. right across this rack, and it contains all of your. I feel like I need that for my eyeshadow brush. Of the bucket, it'll keep you from <laughs> covering your whole room and getting everybody covered with paint thinner. I really think it's a good investment. Very cheap little thing. You're so painting you your room, and your mom comes off. in. She's like, and we'll get started here today. Hi. As we mentioned earlier, normally the first thing we always do is cover the entire canvas rack. with a thin, even coat of the liquid white. So we'll just dip the old two-inch brush right into the liquid white. Well. About like so. And we can go right up here and begin covering the canvas. All we're looking for. How do for I get? It's just a nice, thin, even coat. Just really work it in. Just Oops, cover that wasn't the changing it at all. Just cover what the canvas. What is it, like that, I guess? Probably the most common um. mistake made is applying too much of the liquid white. All you want is just enough I think to I'm just cover gonna fuck the entire this up. canvas. If you think you may have a little too much liquid white, one of the easiest ways to make sure, clean and dry your brush. Wait, should I just? Go back over the entire canvas with a clean, dry brush. That'll pick up any excess liquid white and your canvas will be just right then. <laughs> just right. There we go. Okay. Just really scrub that off. Get a, a few uh, seconds uh, shaved off of that. Okay. Now, one thing that'll help, I use a canvas that's very smooth. Some people like canvas that has a little more tooth to it, a little more nap to it. I like a smooth canvas. But I also use a canvas that has a gray primer. And that way you can tell exactly where your liquid white is. Now, if you, if you don't oh, have weird. a canvas that has a gray primer, it's just a, a white primer. A little, a little trick. So that you should can I do is take a little bit of liquid black? Should it be and just put a tiny little bit into your liquid white? Or and it'll give it a, a gray cast. And then when you paint your white canvas, you can tell exactly where it's covered. Okay, long horizontal and vertical strokes. I'm gonna go with this. It looks a little. It looks nice, kind of nice. It actually, it looks more like actual white paper. Over the entire surface. And you're ready to go. Hmm, we can wash your brush. Now we wash our brushes with odorless paint so thinner. So liquidy. And I really, oh my God. really recommend you use odorless thinner. They put a microphone a inside the, the this bucket. rinse Scrub bucket? Scrub the bristles against the screen. The solid material settled to the bottom. He and like gets it all thinner. over the camera it lenses. It remains relatively clean. Shake off the excess. Then, <laughs> and that's the fun part of this whole technique. 
Let's look in Tell you what, let's make a happy little sky. Okay. And for that, We're gonna I'm going to go right into a sky type of again. blue. Just a little bit. Just oh, pull a little like bit of the color like out. pretty dark. And then tap the bristle, bristles firmly into the color. This will assure a nice, even distribution of paint all the way through the bristles. It does not take much color. Just a little. Okay, let's go right up here. I only found out like a now month then, ago that Bob Ross was dead. And I cried so much. He died before I was born. Yeah, um, it is really fucking sad that he's dead, but that I'm... Way, that way your brush will pick up know, the liquid I'm... white and automatically, automatically, your color gets lighter toward the... Hang on, my cat is having a nightmare. What? She woke up. Uh, she does this a lot where um, she's not doing it right now, but she wakes up and then she just goes, meow, 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 and uh, waits until I come over and give her some sort of attention. And I'm pretty sure she's having like little nightmares or something. Not sure what from. We got her from the pound, but it was when she was uh, like kind of young baby. Was only a couple months old. Hi, stupid. She was eight weeks old. Hi. Ow. Yeah. Roly poly. Ugh. There. Sorry. I should uh, lift her up a little bit more so you're more. Hi, stupid fat face. Are you done with your nightmare, dum dum? She can, uh, she's gonna hang out. You can't even, you can barely, like, see her, but she'll, 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 she's gonna chill now. Okay. She's fine. Horizon. Let the canvas work. Let the liquid white work. Let your brush work. You just enjoy. You just enjoy. Because painting should make you happy. Should be a fun experience. And you can always add probably like be using with like the same uh, you can always go back size and add canvas more. That's, and that that's very simple. It it's a son of a gun to try to take it off though. Also big, do big, it. like big. But then I can make different. it my wallpaper. I should <laughs> quickly get this on an extended screen so that I can make it an extended fucking that wallpaper. Easy. Okay, now then, all we have is brush dirty. Let's have a little touch of water in this painting. I love water, and it's always fun to do. So I'm gonna take, go right back into my phthalo blue, reach right over here and grab a touch. Just reach a touch out and touch face. the phthalo green. Don't need much of that. It's very strong. Just a touch. Phthalo blue and phthalo green. And just tap it into the bristles again. Okay, now decide where you want the water to be and pull from the outside in. Start on the outside, pull in. Start on the bottom, work up. So it gets lighter and lighter toward the horizon. Now see if you start, if you start here and go over, it leaves a very distinct line, which is hard to blend out. We're not going to talk about blending, if you, Bob. If you happen to forget, but blend from the outside in, and leave a little air area open right in here. Look like a little sheen of light coming across the water when we're done. Start at the bottom, work upward, let it get lighter and lighter toward the top, lighter and lighter. Just like so. Towards there the top or towards the middle? See how easy that is? That's all Shit. there is to it. And then I have several brushes going, and you'll find that saves you a lot of time and a lot of a lot of money and wasted paint if you have several brushes. If you have one for dark color and one for light. Otherwise, yeah, I've got a washing machine for dark colors washer washing machine. Okay, washing clean color. brush, and I'm just gonna blend right across here. I need more. I need lightly. more. I'm just gonna. Okay. I don't want to lose this light area, a lot of but this I just want to bring I it all wanna, together. I just want to. I need to fill this shit up. Just quick, like so. quick, quick. Okay. And that's ready. All fixed up. Now, if you just have I hate a tiny this, bit this of paint brush, on your brush, like runs out of ink. 
So I have to keep wrap it like uh, that, and it takes it'll take that paint off. Taking my finger okay, off. Okay, let's it. use the fan brush today. We'll build a happy little cloud. Thicker. Let's go right into titanium white. And I'm gonna reach down here, be right back, get the least little touch, a little bit more of the bright red. I want to put a little sunlight in these clouds. I want to make a happy little cloud today. Happy little cloud. Okay. Decide where your cloud lives. Maybe he lives right in here. Take the corner of the brush okay, and just make tiny little circles. Tiny little circles. I've already used some color that I just. Don't stay in one place. Well, maybe a little keep bit working. lighter. If you just stay in one place here and, and keep grinding the paint, you're going to end up with big cotton balls up in the sky. Now you can also do this just as well with a one inch brush or, or two inch brush. Two inch brush makes fantastic clouds. Okay, now with a I'm clean, just gonna dry, have to do like bobs. Two inch brush. Use the top corner of the brush. This and you is the extent of my artistic of ability. Out. Not touching the top yet. Just blend. See, very lightly. Very, very lightly. Just like so. Just barely, barely blending. Okay, now we're gonna fluff it. And this, we're gonna do a big circular pattern. Just grab it gently and fluff it upward. Just fluff it. And you're gonna pull up little stringy so things when you do it. Don't worry about them, because when you go across, they just go away. These clouds actually, the ones yeah, that I'm doing easy. do look a little you better. Have one I don't know, or do they, I don't know. Different aesthetics. Maybe we'll. I like the like half we'll and put half. Put another happy little cloud in here. Maybe this other cloud, maybe he lives right over here. Same thing, tiny little circles. Dude, I'm already ahead of him. I've got way just more clouds than he in. does. Wherever you think he should live, he lives This right is a contest, here. this is a competition. And in your world, you put a cloud again. Artisel, which is yours, and which is our man Bob's. You don't necessarily need yeah, to put I know a cloud it looks like you put it where you think. If you think it uh... lives somewhere else, then that's where it ought to be. There we go. Lift it gently. Lift it, and very lightly, just go across it. And that easy. You got another happy little cloud right there. See, I know how to blend. Absolutely no problem. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the old fan brush. I just have some paper towels over here that I clean the brushes on. Okay. Wipe it off and we're in business. Let's build, maybe we back in here, there's just a small little mountain that lives. Oh, he's got so let's take a touch of Prussian blue, a little bit of uh, midnight black. We're gonna get a little touch of alizarin crimson. So we got blue, black, Lizard and crimson, like maybe even a little Van Dyke brown. What the heck? Basic brown. What the heck? Just drop it in. Dark colors. Okay, pull the paint out as flat as you can get it. Just really mash down hard. Then take your knife. Hard in the yard. Across. See there? Get that little roll of paint. This knife has a straight edge on it, and by having Oops, a straight edge, it's, it's hard very to tell. easy to load it. Let's go on up here. What's he doing Kay. like that? And then maybe, maybe Let's our little see. mountain. Okay, I gotta make a big decision here. Maybe he lives right here, just floats around in the clouds. Push very firmly, very firmly. We're trying to push this color right into the fabric. Holy and you just Andrew. decide where you want little bumps to live. See, mm. there's one. Wherever, wherever you want them. Maybe there's mm. one. Happy little thing lives right there. Scrape off all the excess paint. Just really get in there and scrape hard. Oh, God. You can't hurt this. Just scrape it off. The only thing we're worried about oh, is this nice outside edge. In Bob, here, I can hurt this. this. Now then, with a two-inch brush, I want to grab this. And because of the liquid white, the canvas is wet, you can pull this and move yeah, it. Yeah, thank God my canvas is wet. And just move it, remember? If you can see the entire mountain, it's always more distinct at the top than it is at I the bottom. I got cat hair on my nose from kissing my cat. And by doing this, that will happen automatically. Just like so. See, just let it sort of float off in the sky there. There we go. Because this is a very firm paint, you can blend right over it. Okay. Now then, maybe there's some Maybe there's some snow on that little mountain. So we can take some titanium white and once again, pull it out. 
as flat as you can get it. Just really pull it out. Then go across, get that little roll of paint. Okay, I'm sorry, my, I this. have fucking cat hair all Tiny over Tiny little roll of paint, let's go up here. Okay, now then, right along in here. Take the point of the knife, put it right up at the top of the mountain. No pressure, just let it float. No pressure. Just let it float right down the side of the mountain there. No pressure, see? Follow the angles in the mountain. Absolutely no pressure. Okay, maybe. Make me right stressed here. out, but he said. Think where light would strike. Think where the sun would shine through here and create all these beautiful little effects. And if you're right-handed, it's normally easier for the light to come from the right Oops. side. Normally easier. See, very delicate. Is it? Though. Very delicate. Very, very delicate. This is a time when the little knife would come I'm not left -handed. even better. So you can get back here with the little knife and get these little places. That little son of a gun just sneaks right in there. Either knife works very well. They both have the, the straight edges and they work very good. Take a little bit of blue and white. This is a little phthalo blue. Just a touch. Just a touch. Mix it up about like so. That's good. Cut across, That's good. and once again, we have that small roll of paint right out on the edge of the knife, so you can see it's right. Yeah, Tara, are you winning? Heck, Heck yeah, I am. Yeah. Uh, can so, you tell the difference between the Bob Ross painting and my MS painting? Put a shadow behind this one first. Just a little tiny totally, shadow. Totally, uh... Then a shadow here. Let it come down. Totally. Uh, exactly. Distinctly through. See there? Distinctly through. No pressure at all. Think in your mind that the only thing touching the canvas is have a to make do. tiny roll of paint. And each little highlight needs a shadow. If it doesn't have a shadow... Yep, I see more mountains in your mountain painting. You. Yeah, he's just got a smaller you. canvas, so I'm kind of trying to make up for just it. leave you stranded. Okay, now then. Oh, he did Sometimes it more in the middle, fun. too. I'm clearly not games. paying enough attention to this. Right. I just get Clean excited and start brush. like going for it. I should probably just put them all. The angles. I'll just copy paste this part, and move it over, and fill out the right section. Now lift upward, very softly. Three hairs and some air over here. Follow these angles. Lift, lift, blend. See, it just softens that son of a gun right down there. Okay, now then, maybe. So you can change your mind now. Maybe there's a. A peak it lives right here. And if we want to make this one look like it's in I've front never of changed it, my mind before in my life. Bring the line distinctly down. Oh my god, the battle's we'll already Push ready? all that back. But that little musty area right. is the only thing that separates those. So all right, cherish sure. it. It's your good all right, sure. We'll do that real quick. We'll do that real quick. We'll do that real quick. Do 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 do. Hmm. Like we've got most. Right. Short. Some zero. What is that? That's cool. Seen enough uh, hentai to know where that's going though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Those test tube dudes. <laughs> all the healer what are all of the healers doing they can't decide what to do they're like huh twenty hour victory how unexpected Somebody is getting Alan and Scroll. Um, Sum Zero, I think you probably need to level your stuff up. You've only placed two units. Or you've only placed a few units, probably because you've placed more at this point. Rewards. Okay. So I'm trying to. Well, uh, I'm going to loop back up, or should I go with this? I'll just go this and then. 
Yeah. Yeah! Because um, Alan's going to be real angry if I miss the green chest again. What's good? Good. What's good? What's good? What are the enemies? Was it, Is this one of the... Oh. <clears throat> Can't go wrong with an archer. Rock pillar, you're ahead of me. Okie dokie. Effect. The feet. Maybe this. Shoot, look here. Look here. Look here. Anywhere look here. you want it to go. Anywhere you want to go. This is not but translating well all at all. Angles of highlight or light color. Maybe I should do more mountains, though. Basic direction. Same basic direction. Because light's only going to strike at a given angle coming through here. Pretend you're a sunbeam just wandering around here and having fun. Yeah, those are Gee, mountains, now, not waves. We need a shadow back here. Everywhere there's a highlight, we have to have a shadow. Just a little shadow. Just a little happy shadow that lives right back here. See how that pops right out? Comes your friend. It's easy. Just easy gap. Little rules. Mountains are just geometric shapes. Highlights and shadows. Oh yeah, I needed to color the mountains in. And oh. you can make some of the most fantastic mountains you've ever seen. What's great is great for practice and get to give you experience is just take a canvas and start at the top, paint mountains from top to bottom. And you'll learn more. Oh, it's it's a super way to practice. And by the time you're finished, you'll be good friends with the knife. Okay, tapping the base, good following those with... angles again. Now you want to save that one line right there. That's a distinct line that separates these two entities. Save that. Lift upward, very gently. Whisper light. You don't want to destroy, you just want to diffuse. Over here, follow these angles. Save this line. That's a distinct line that you need. Give it a little I blend. It. And you've got one very effective, yet very easy, little mountain, and I knew you could it's do the it. the same color that I just already did. Tell you what, yeah, I think it let's have some little footy hills that live right in here. I'm you getting the point across. Let's These are mountains. Color. They've got snow on them. Shoot, we'll take, we had this mountain color. That was just some Prussian blue and some midnight black. We'll put some Van Dyke brown. Lizard Van Dyke brown. Just a little touch of sap green. Don't want too much sap green. I'm gonna reach over here and find some white. Over here and touch face. And let's see what we got here. You gotta put a little white with it to know what you have. It's very difficult to tell. A little more blue in there. Oh yeah. Just sort of play with the color till it gets like you want it. I'm looking for a color that sort of a bluish gray, maybe with the least little hint of green. It's too far away to have much green. Okay, now we can lift it up like so. Okay, let me clean the knife. And today, i tell you what let's do. Let's use a one inch brush and I'll just go right into that and just pull it through just to load a little paint on it. Like so, just like so. Okay, let's go up to the canvas. Now you have to make a big decision here. Where's your little foothills live? Maybe let's start right in here. Maybe just using the corner of the brush. Maybe they just come Foot right hill. down. Oh no. Here they come. We're gonna have more problems, Wherever boys. You want them. And just sort of sort of pull it straight down. See? Turn it over and use the other uh, corner. This is like more gets, brown. Well, it almost looks like it's got brown in it, though. Pull straight down. Oh, fuck. How do I but even how do I make this color? Here. See this little okay. misty area right in here? You want to save that mist that's between the foothill and the mountain. If you if you kill that misty area, these foothills are going to look like they're right up against the mountain. That's... You don't want that. Okay. Now then, time to wash your brush. I've put off washing the brush until I'm about to run out. Give him a good shake. Eats. <laughs> and Eats. just beat the devil out of it. Now, I want to create devil mist at the base of this foothill. Of so here, all we're going to do, and pay attention. Uh, I should have made the can. I'm going to make the can here to the angles. Brown, so I... 
This foothill is going to sort of be coming down this way. Match the proportion. Just Broad. like so. This is way, there this is so much work. See how soft oh it makes God. the base of that little son of a gun look? Now give it gentle Easy. little upward lifts. All of this gentle, hurt. gentle, My hand gentle. Hurts. Tired of this. All right. Actually, I'm now tired, then, but. Maybe we'll put one coming down this way. Same color, only darker. Same color, only darker. Same color, only darker. Wait, is he still on the same color, or did I like um, not stop paying to attention? You in the landscape, they should get darker in value. Little darker in value as they get closer. You about to do the same thing, just, just like over again. I have to make all those. No big deal. A little green in there. So tired of clicking. Not much green. It's too far away. Okay. Now maybe, maybe this one lives. I just hear a right swallow. Right here somewhere. There he goes. Oh no. There he goes. See, this one's a little darker, so it'll stand yeah. up. Now sometimes you want to make something that looks like a little individual trees. You can just take a brush and turn it on the end, see? Pull down and it makes Oh no. A little okay, more I'm gonna ruin I'm about to ruin Depending this drawing. On the effect that you want to achieve. Maybe this comes right on down. I know that this is not what he's doing, but decide where it lives. Look at there. It's that easy though. And I'll show you, show you something that's fun here. Maybe this is, you decide in here. This is fun. Maybe there's a little separation and this one comes right on down here. See, you can you can sort of pull them apart and make more than one that easy. And you just take them wherever you want them to go. If I like actually did you know, know how to draw to this. Some, some happy little foothills that look uh, in the distance. Must paint Maybe would be so over easy. here this one comes up a little. I don't know. Whatever you think. Whatever. Whatever you think. You just put them in. It kind of, it looks like it's like. Okay. Now then, with our two inch brush, still paying attention to the lay of the land, we can sort of begin tapping this. What land? Just wherever you think it should go. There. Don't want to destroy this little line, though. If we're going to keep that in, we'll go in between there and just tap with the corner of the brush. I don't know what line it. I wasn't supposed to destroy. Like so. So much water. So many burps. Okay, then short little strokes lift straight up. Even if this comes down the hill, lift it straight up. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Always. If you lean it to the side and lift, it'll look like a little tree's far away. Look like the wind's blowing a thousand miles an hour and about to blow Great, them away. Isn't it? There, straight up. There we go. And then very lightly, just blend it. My ungrateful cat that I just comforted from her nightmare. Yeah. Now okay. begging to but get out of my bedroom. Super way to make some happy little foothills. And they're that easy. That easy. Tell you what, let's do. Let me find. Uh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Can't find my brush, you know. When you get old, the mind's the second thing to go. Okay, What's we'll the take first? Some of that dark color. Your paintbrush? We'll use some black, some blue. I want this to be very, very dark. Black and blue, we'll get some little brown, little sap green. If the first this one is your body, um, I'm more worried about my mind going than my paint. body going. And as you pull it through, wiggle it. I mean, so my mind's already like it. gone, but. And then sharpen it. What is this? That'll bring the brush to a super sharp chisel edge. Super sharp edge. There you can see it. it's very sharp. And the only reason it's sharp is because you have so much paint in there. It's literally just stuck the bristles together. Okay, now then, maybe back in here. Way back in the distance, there's some little evergreens that live. Now, the only way to make these show is to save this little misty area. So touch it with this, that nice chisel edge. Oh, my gosh. See here? Don't kill that little misty area that's in between. What color is this? And Dude. every so often, reload your brush to bring it back to a nice sharp edge. And you can really begin dropping in all kinds of just happy little distant trees. We're not looking for distinct shape yet. They're too far away still. Too far away. When they get closer, then we'll worry about individual shapes. Right now, 
all we're trying to do. There, just, just sort of tap. Hmm, isn't that fun? Let's click it. Look on him. It's a super little way to make a lot of trees. Now, if you get them too super far apart. Super way to make a lot of trees. If you, let's just do something here. See, if you put them like this, they're very rapidly going to look like telephone poles or fence posts. If that happens, just put some more in there. Just means you don't have quite enough. Not quite enough. I don't think that I'll ever have enough of anything that Bob has put on his canvas in this And maybe as they file right wander here. out Fuck. here, they get a little bit bigger. And by making them bigger out here and smaller toward the center, it'll create the illusion of a little pond here. You'll see what I mean in just a second. But sort of let them get bigger toward the outside edges, and it makes a wonderful effect. A wonderful effect. It'll make you happy. And if you're interested in selling paintings, I can tell that if I was actually doing them. a good job, this would be like okay. working out properly. That color comes down because we're going to have water, so this will just end up being just happy little reflections. Like this. There we go. But now. One of the things when you're painting, I don't want to add any more trees. the more planes you These have trees are painting, much like taller the more depth, than mine. the more distance that you'll have. I've got tiny, tiny little, little trees. Deeper. So, tiny well, little trees. Right minute, Oomst, look, is look that? Close. Let me show you. Look at all the planes that we have here. This one right here, where these dark trees, and then this, and this one, another one, and then you have several different planes in the mountain. Now. Got a if lot you of can freckles zoom back on a little bit and take a look, see when you look at all these planes take independently. Look, look at the right there. Look at the. But he doesn't have as many mountains as you do. Already. Yeah, that's true. And I've got a. Only because for, uh, of all these various planes the in the painting. Compensation. And that's that's what'll <laughs> that's what'll make a happy bug. Now then, let's create some reflections right here. Let's take two-inch brush. Decide where you want reflections to be. Grab and pull straight down. Because these trees are short. Just have short reflections here as you work outward. Let them get a little longer. Trees are a little taller, reflections are a little longer. See there? Go out the other way, just pull straight down. Though. Line. Straight down. Straight down. Ah, uh, yeah. Isn't that a super easy? Dude, nice you see how good this is? Fantastic reflections. And you can do it. You can do it. And very lightly. Very lightly. Come straight across. Have instant reflection. I'll show you another little trick. This is fun. Maybe you want to create another plane in here. Do you I keep do hearing him by just taking swallow? A little is that what that noise keeps being that color. I like randomly hear? Or is it him rinsing his brush? Be because now watch right one here. of the Maybe things is little, okay. Another little and the other thing is touch here with a fan brush and lift upward. It'll make it look not. like little tree trunks far away. But it also begins creating the illusion. We all know you just took a screen and pasted it on them as bang. You ain't fooling like anyone. Yeah, I'm there. just using the eraser like tool trunks. and uh, slowly exposing the rest of the all the painting. And the more of these you put in, the better it'll look. The more planes that you have in your painting. Now, if you get one here that you don't like or it's too bright, all you have to do is work it in, and all that dark color back there will eat it up. Let's build a little water line. For that, uh, I'm going to take a touch of the liquid white and put it on my palette. Just pull it out and then lightly cut across. That's, all that's what he did. It. See, there's a little bit of paint right I up on the top here. I think that's what he did. I think that's Get what he did. Up here, use a firm pressure, and all we're going to do is just cut in a water line. Use a firm pressure. Keep these lines basically straight. Basically straight. See there? Just cut in a happy little waterline. Wherever you think they should be. Wherever they should be. There we go. I know the water goes above the waterline. Don't pay attention to that. Okay. It's fine. Look at that. Isn't that super? Christ, dude. Do what it. am I doing? Okay. You can do it. See now a few little ripples here and there on the water. They too need to be straight. If oh, they're not straight. straight, the water look like it's going to run right out of your painting. 
cause you a lot of problems. Stray. Okay. Boring. Tell you what. Tell you what. Let's do. Let's begin I'll putting some four in here. Let's take a big bunch of the Prussian blue, black, brown. <laughs> oh, I don't know, crimson, sap green. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Whatever you have, shoot, just drop it in there. Dark colors. Dark colors. Dark. Look at that. Might as well mix up a big wad of paint. Okay, let me clean off my knife. Today, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's use, shoot, we'll just use an old two inch brush. You could, you could do this with a fan brush, a uh, one inch brush, it doesn't matter. I'll use a two inch today. Oh, wait. Pull it through the paint, wiggling it. See? Wiggle it. Wiggle side, it? Pull it through. Hold on. And wiggle it. Where's the. You need a lot of paint in the bristles, just like with a one inch brush, to bring it to a nice sharp chisel edge. Okay. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. Loads of brushes. The bristles, I mean, loads of bristles. And by wiggling it and pulling it, it pulls the paint Come on, Bobby. the end of the bristles and sharpen it, just like you would a knife. This is like when I'm dyeing my hair okay. and I just like fucking around with the hair dye instead of actually right. putting it in my hair. Son of a gun, it's just Holy you could shave with it. Just Look use an eye. Super sharp. Now, sharp. <clears throat> let's decide. Maybe there's a happy tree, evergreen tree. He lives so, right there. Start brush. with just so, like, one of the touching the canvas. Hey, it's two inch. Oh, oh, yeah. That's, okay, corner. so I'm going to have to eat. And That's begin fine. pushing, making the bristles bend slightly downward. See there? Look at that. Isn't that a nice little tree? I think you just got a little and paint on your right face, Tara. Brush. Yeah, that's true. I've got a lot oh, of... Oh, you have to um, do your sort of pushing Got a lot out. of red on me. Each time you start a new evergreen, reload the brush to a nice sharp chisel edge. Go through the same procedure. Let's have another one. Maybe he lives soup right there. Just make a decision and drop him in. The trees are the only things well, that I can make, like, actually look there sort of like goes. trees. One of the questions I get asked quite frequently, what if I do a tree and decide I don't like him? Or maybe I'll make him taller. Watch here, watch here. Let's say, well, I hate to mess up his tree, but I want to show you this. It's a good tree. Maybe you want to make his tree taller. All you have to do is touch and come right back over the top of him. See here? And you just paint a bigger tree, tree right I'll over the top. I'll put some more... Uh... We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. And you have a brand new, beautiful tree. I'm doing it like the easy. wrong way, so it came out fucked up. Tell you what, let's do. Let's have a tree on the other side too. Bring the brush back to a chisel edge. Dude! Nice and sharp, okay? I didn't even like this watch tree. this or anything. This I'm gonna do one in the middle too. Almost all the way to the top of the canvas. Same way. This will give you some practice using a big brush. Making some beautiful little evergreens. I like to do the trees. The trees are kind of fun. This might so be my favorite we're gonna do to tons do of trees with. today. It's so much fun. Some so often we Dude, avoid this brush because we're on the it's same made, page again. But it'll do some of the most beautiful little delicate things. Just, you're pushing downward with the corner of the brush, just the corner, just the corner. As you work down the tree, you push harder and harder, so you're actually using more of the brush. But just the corner and push down. See, down. I'm exaggerating now so you can see down, like that. Okay? Now then, maybe we'll have Wait. some leaf trees in there. So pull the brush in one direction through the paint, one direction. I don't know why I'm doing this like on color. the water. One direction. This is the same old dark color. One direction. You really pull it. Pull it. Maybe I should make it a little By bit darker. It in one direction, it'll generate a, a round corner. See, you pull it, and then that corner is round. When we touch the canvas, we want that rounded corner toward the top. Let's go right up here. <clears throat> Maybe right that here. Was him lives laughing. A nice tree. Nice tree lives there. Just push, bend the bristles upward. That rounded corner was toward the top. Just push and bend it upward. Okay, Ugh. you have to make some decisions now. Where does this live? I don't make Let's decisions. Right I have somebody here. else do that for me, sir. Turn it out here, like Ew. so. I'm doing my headphones and it went in my ear. Whatever. 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 This is 
your world. You make the big decision, throw it in. Mm, hmm. Stick with this. That was so star. much fun. Let's go over here. Maybe on this side. Maybe there's a tree lives right in here. So we don't have to separate these yet. We separate them with highlights. Right now, all we need are just basic shapes. See, just push Bob, what have you made me do? brush up. And when you do it, don't let the brush slide like that. See the difference? You get those. Makes good swamp grass. We're not after that right now. Right now. Just push. Maybe later. There we are. And you just wherever you want them. You can begin filling all that in. See, good place yeah. to practice bushes yeah. and stuff right in here. Yeah. Yeah, I got excellent, this. This is exactly what he wanted. And we've got. You think he would um, take his videos easy. off of YouTube if he saw Maybe. what uh, I've done with this? Bush lives right there. Okay. Now then, let's make a few tree trunks here and there. And to do that, we'll take a little of the dark sienna, a little Van Dyke brown, and some white. Just pull it out very flat. Don't overmix. Leave it. Leave it marble like That's it. Cut pink. across. Get that little roll of paint. All those various colors. I don't know how the color will be in that little roll work. out here. It's all there. See there? Okay. Yes. Now then, we'll go right up in here. How do I reach just touch, these beads? Allow the canvas to pull off what it wants. Give it just the least little pull to the side. I already Maybe forgot what in. color he just made. Just a happy little tree trunk wherever you want. Them. That easy. It's like pretty. Maybe in this big tree over here. Quite it. Here's a little no. trunk. And you don't have to show. Can't go wrong with this color. The we are learned that already. Cover up places. You won't oh, see all of wait. it. Wait. Okay, maybe in this tr old tree here, there's a trunk lives. Wherever you want them. Wherever you want them. Another thing, just take a clean knife and scratch through the paint. See, it makes it look like all kinds of little delicate sticks and twigs and. People will think you work for weeks doing this with a little one-haired brush. See, if you want them to be wider, stronger, turn the knife, and they'll get thicker. And you can put limbs on trees or whatever you want just doing this. Most of these will be covered up, as I say. I'll put a few on the other side over here. Just here and there. He's mega fuming right now. Yeah, I know. He's fucking rolling in his grave. Now Attack then. the painting. Over here, let's have some reflections. So take the big brush, decide where what you, you mean? want. Reflections and, what do you want me and land. Attack it. Grab and just pull it straight but down. But it's a masterpiece. Straight down. The liquid white is still wet. It stays wet for several days on a good canvas. And oh. the paint will move. And you can turn what was land here, let's right into reflections. That easy. And go lightly across. Okay. Add a little extra stick an fucking of here. land over here. Now then, let's begin putting some highlights in all these things. I'm gonna go right into a touch of the liquid white into yellow. Yeah, it looks like I spent yeah, hours here, um, with a one haired brush. Sap green. Ooh, yellow. Maybe add a little black, dull it down some. There. You could just use black and yellow. Makes a beautiful black green. Black and yellow, I'm black looking for a dark green color here. Dark green color. Bring it brush back to a nice, sharp, sharp edge. See there? Very sharp. We're about to do um, some like mossy stuff. Now then, or leafies. I want to highlight these big evergreens using just the corner of the brush. Just sneak in here and put all kinds of little highlights. Don't kill all your dark areas though. Evergreens are usually quite dark, so try not to kill all those dark areas. They're, they're important, especially in evergreens. It is a very pretty painting. Okay, Thank you. Where's your liquid white? I don't know. He won't tell me the hex codes for all the shit. That easy. That easy. I don't know how to find it. Over here, this other evergreen. But I primed my, uh, my canvas. I uh, put, he told me to put stuff on it, so See I uh, did that. Just basically using just the corner of the brush. And there. it's like I'm a real artist now. You can pressure. tell that I'm like totally. If your paint won't come off your brush, add the least little touch. Like least this is coming together. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at chat and 
that illusion I'm going to fall behind if I don't like to come finish. Damn paint will stick Adding to this thick damn paint. green. Okay. This damn. Yeah, then we'll wash that brush off real trees. quick. Yeah, these are too. Give them a good shake, and off we go. Now we can begin working on these leaf trees. Leaf trees. Back into the liquid white. And let's go. I don't know, let's just pretend that I had like yellow. branches there and there. And just a touch of green. I want this to be a okay, nice cool. shiny green. Oh wait, I've and missed your world. You make it whatever color you want, okay? Just want to yeah, show this you is how my world. to create the effects. Pull this is what my brain looks like on the inside. And get it full of paint. This so actually like isn't like awful, awful awful now that it's actually. The secret to this is to have a lot of paint. As so you like just we have keep going. Barely touch the canvas. Hello. If you have to hit the canvas firmly or hard, then it's going to smudge. We pulled it in one direction. He's a liquid on liquid bitch. Keep, keep that in mind. You can see how it's okay. I understand, but like, Without what do I have to keep in mind? I'm using MS Paint. Take, go slightly above the dark, give it the least little touch. I can't even blend. And just push slightly upward. Mm. And just barely bending the bristles. What does this so man think he's doing? little touch. No pressure. Where is he doing that at? And then working layers, working downward. See there? There we go. Uh, down, down. Just decide where your tree lives and... You know what? And paint him in. That's all you have to do. But think about limbs that are projecting towards you. They're not just all going out the sides. And yeah, they just are. Hit it random. Look are. at it. Get my a, world, bitch. Get a feel for it. One of the best things you can do is is take some time and and go out in your yard or go out in the woods and and study trees. Make friends with a tree. Um, Talk I live in them. Arizona. Then you'll get to understand him. These are kind of what the what trees in Arizona tree look, look like. They're what fucking just like green and yellow. It personality. So. I'm gonna get a touch of paint thinner all over on the brush, just to thin the paint a little bit. Okay. Maybe I know right I'm adding now. too much yellow. It's a happy little bush it lives right there. I'm gonna have to let my cat out in a moment. Very little pressure. He's gonna have to wait because I'm very in pressure. the zone. I'm yeah. an artist, Kira. Leave me I'm alone. Let here. me live my life. Add a little yellow ochre. Lay down on the yellow. bed. I know you only want to go out red. there so that you can look and see that there's not Just like a bunch of food in the bowl. Color on the brush. His mom's not up yet. Shoot for maybe, maybe back here. Ooh, there's a nice one. There's a nice one. You're gonna be able to really see him. Little fireball. Shit, he moved nice on. Bright one, and a happy one. He does this without me all the maybe time. There's one that lives in front of him, pushes him back. Do the bush. That in your mind is a father's bush. way. Do him first. On brushes, uh, guys. Okay, now Big bush. you can use the side of the brush and just push uh, upward. See? Oh, I should have. All kinds of happy little grassy areas. Look at that. Then a super, super way to create all kinds of little bushes. Work in layers here, though. And notice there's a dark area. See the little dark area between each layer? That's the only thing that separates your bushes. Don't kill it. It's your, it's your good friend. Keep the camera right here and let me show you. You can take the knife and come right back in here and in these dark areas, scratch in little sticks. No, Keep I'm so sick of these though. sticks, Bob, please. Depth in your painting. I don't know why I did that one line going the other way. It makes it look so fucked up now, yeah, but I'm not gonna go back. All these little bushes up. Looks like a lot of detail and you haven't worked very hard. You hadn't hardly worked at all. Don't tell nobody that. That's our secret, okay? See? Thanks, Bob. Painting's fun. It should always make you happy. Put a little, little more color on the brush. And maybe, let's do this one right back here. Here's a happy little bush. He lives Hogs right in the chat there. for the cat in the background. Oh, yeah, she's um, begging to... Make up little fucking... stories. Talk to the, talk to your canvas. Now what's he doing? Add, just adding People more detail? People painters to be half crazy. It's all right. You can get away with it. Half okay. crazy? Indian yellow, yellow ochre. Put, let's put some bright red in there, too. What the heck? Now, oh, I as I mentioned earlier, the wrong one. when you're doing this uh, at let's home, do the small. you use the colors that make you happy. I want, I want to use colors here that are bright enough that you can see them um, and you can distinguish how they're I don't made. know. I don't believe. There we go. Because very soon, very soon. 
How to paint. Oh, I forgot to do this entire side of this tree. Is what to paint. That becomes the challenge. I know he said One the dark stuff was my friend, but all kinds those of the green books. and yellow. And there's a book for each television series, and each book contains 13 paintings with detailed instructions and just hundreds and hundreds of how Ooh, to pictures. Ready. It'll give you a lot of ideas of things to paint. Left on and with what you've learned here, you shouldn't have any trouble at all. Any trouble at all. I'm just gonna let uh, like, this finish we out. We have instructors that travel all over the country. We have certified instructors. And then I'll do the stream writers. That I personally have taught. I hope everybody and trained. Okay with that and we guarantee. And these instructors travel. I know, all over like the sometimes I join uh, stream writers battles, people and people take forever to open the chests or something, like and I'll be like, "What are you doing?" You and I'll go and check and see like what they're playing to see if they're just uh, busy. Okay. There. Maybe. Yep. There's one. But do one bush at a time. One oh god, bush he's doing time. bushes now. I'm still uh, vibing with these trees, though. Here's one. Bob, come on. That little rascal. Busy here. You're looking Busy at here. That lacy effect. Should Should I you get, get them a bush all? that you don't like? Just take your knife, scrape it right off. Or this just to a bushectomy. Scrape that little rascal off. Put your dark color back rascal in, off. and you can do it right over the top. No problem. What's he doing now? Can no somebody um, recap the last few minutes? Because if you're not happy with something, then you ought to change it. There we go. There's another little bush lives right there. And maybe, ooh, there's a bright little rascal. Isn't it pretty? That really stands out nice. Tell you what, before we get too far along, let me see. We'll use a little small knife. It's fun for getting in here. Maybe you want to have, maybe back in here it lives, maybe there's a, a big rock, big stone. Um, oh, um, there um, he is. Just use some Van Dyke Brown. A little dark sienna. It's hard to get the colors right in this sometimes. So paint a big old happy rock, and then we can take some. Oh, we can take some brown and some white. Whatever color rock you want. Okay. Still using a small knife, and just reach up in here. Just like you were doing reach a little Just finger. let this bounce along. Put some highlight on that rock. Smooth right? melon! Oh my gosh. See there? Hi. And he lives out here amongst all these bushes and trees. And rocks are just baby mountains with proper care rocks. and nutrition. We're on rocks now. Be a big mountain Shit. Too. What did you do for the rocks? Sure. What is it? I'll tell you what. Oh, we got brown going here. Fuck. What color was that? What color side, was that? Oh no, what color was that? Land. We don't want all these bushes to, to fall off in the water. We'll give them some. Give him something for his little foots to stand on here. What fucking color did he just use for the rocks, dude? Van Dyke brown. I don't know what to... Just like so. That's like black, hold on. And we can use some brown. Shoot, a little touch of blue even in there. Graze it. Okay. Let's do this purple. Brown, white, touch of blue. <coughs> just let that sort of bounce along. Make some nice... It looks like dirts and rock, stones. Okay, if you want to make it shine a little more, you can take a little uh, I guess it's not. lighter color and just barely graze here and there. Just barely. That'll make it jump right out Shouldn't at you. Shouldn't have gone all the way up with that. Mm. Now then, with a the one-inch brush, see this is a very straight edge here. You can take and just pop in a little bush. Look at there. See? And that sort of pushes that back. Just here and there. Just a happy little bush wherever you think they should live. Okay, back into our color, and let's put in a little bush or two right around here, right around, see, right around the rock. Use this darker. One thing I'd like to mention, if you've enjoyed painting along with me on this instructional videotape, we have numerous other tapes by oh myself. My God. And a lot of other fantastic painters that scared the shit just about every medium you can think of. If you'd like, if you'd like a free color brochure showing a lot of the tapes that we have, drop me a line. We'll be glad to send you one. Give you an idea of some of the beautiful, beautiful projects you can do in the comfort of your home with videotape. Okay, now I'm going to take just a clean knife, and I'm going to go up in here, and here and there, I'm going to just scratch in on the, uh... just some sticks and some twigs. 
Wherever you think they should live. Wherever Straight up outline. Okay. A little bit of liquid. Hey, your picture is coming alive. Looks like it's about to jump off the screen. Yeah, good go work, Tara. Thank you. It actually. I, it's, 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 I'm not going to go as far as to say it's good. Just cut in a water line. Same way as we did back. Um, if I showed this to somebody, straight. they would be like, okay, basically that's um, some uh, a mountain range. Like so. With the sky and some, and like a little so. bit of water and like a ton of trees. And you can go good. you want to go here, but you want to keep these lines as straight as you can. There. Okay, maybe there's a happy little ripple lives out here. This too should be straight. We'll have to like figure out the rock situation. Okay. Tell you what, let me get the liner brush. I'm gonna put paint thinner so on it. So what does it? Paint so thinner. Let's go funny. right up here in the brown. You want this to be as thin as ink. This like is paint little, thinner, like a little a Van Dyke brown. Turn that brush. Turn Box. it. It brings it to a sharp, nice sharp point. See. Okay, let's go up here. Now, this is a thin, thin paint. Maybe in here it lives a little stick or twig. Right there. Right here. And this paint is thin, it will flow. The rocks, okay? The rocks, flow. okay? If your brush. If your paint won't flow, then it's probably not thin like enough. Like add some more, because then you can tell that they're like stones. Sometimes I use a thin oil. That'll work quite nicely too. See, and you got an old stick that lives there, and he's got a friend that lives over here. It's always old sticks in the woods. And it adds little details to your paint. I want to be an old stick in the wood. Okay, while I have, while I have the liner brush, I'm going to go right into paint thinner and right into the bright red. And that will do the most important part of the painting. Then the paint bright once red. again to the consistency of ink. Load the brush full. I feel like I missed a part of what he just right did, but that's okay. And sign our painting just like so. And this thin paint will flow. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, he's just signing it. Okay. Hold on. There we go. And I hope um, you enjoyed this painting. What color it's should I sign mine in? Ooh. It'll teach you how to use the equipment. And it's very, very rewarding. And I, I look forward to painting with you again on other instructional videos. And until then, from all of us here, happy painting and God bless. There we go. All right, babies. You think this number is still active? I'm not gonna call it. I've got social anxiety, but somebody else wants to call it. Tell me if it's active or not. Tell me what happens. See, look how close it is. Look how good it is. When you compare uh, the images, it looks, I, might even say it looks better than the original Bob Ross painting. I keep losing my cursor. I'm not used to having this many screens. Uh, which, uh, which, which, uh... What, fucking... Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today because yeah, today yeah, I'll join you in a second, sir. Hold on, hold on. Every once in a while, when we can get him don't, off the move, don't, don't get ahead of yourself. Okay. Oh, what is this poll? How many? How much do you think the Smithsonian would buy for the? Uh, 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 would buy this bad boy for? Yes. <laughs> Twenty to one hundred dollars. One hundred and one to a thousand dollars. Or a thousand and one to ten thousand dollars. Place your votes now. Better than a foop drawing. That's correct. It is. Sure is. Let's get a blank canvas real quick. And then Stream Raiders is ready. We Stream Raiders is ready. Um, some ran, it looks like it's about half. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This little duck. There's a rogue that um, Coco Jobro made that is... Um, it's a rogue and it's a chicken and I love it and I want the chicken rogue so bad. But I did, I got a skin from him uh, and it's a, uh, I almost started it without like adding anything. Um,
Okay, apologies. I forgot what I was talking about two seconds ago. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a I got a I got a skin from him and it's an archer and it's a little penguin and it's super cute. He makes really good skins. That ro those rogues are just running together. Swiftfoot rogue. How do you like, do you just get those kinds of things by leveling up, like, to 20 and stuff? Like, when they're Swiftfoot rogues and, like, heavy centurions and stuff? Oh, okay. All those eyeballs, dude. Eye drones. They just, like, give you the amount of allies that you need to make up for the amount of people who didn't, like, or the amount of units that were not placed. Somebody's getting 15 coins and somebody's getting a bomber scroll. Why is it just one bomber scroll? I feel like it should be like you get one scroll for placing things. You should get two or three from these things. Um, I'm going to do random because um, I'm too scared to pick anything. Oh, look, it's almost like it knows which people are in chat right now. This time, Rock Pillar did not get all the coins. Hey, Alan, I got you five healer scrolls and five musketeer scrolls. Uh, I don't know if you can upgrade anything right now, though. You can almost upgrade this boy. I'm going to put him back down. Oh, and the, oh, the musketeer's already level 10. Um, maybe I'll do the flag bearer again, too. Um, hey, Alan, you want me to buy any of this stuff? Uh, let me know. I'm just gonna buy it all right now. I'll keep it on the screen for about, like, one second longer, and then I'm gonna go back. For my quests. Oh, okay, yeah, I should place the flag bear down again. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. And see, this time I didn't miss the green chest. Uh, hey, Alan, log into my account. Flag bearer. Big boy. Let's go. We're going to win the next round too because we have to because it's a green chest. Okay. Um, I am going to be back in just a few minutes and then we're going to continue and I'll do the third Bob Ross painting of the afternoon. So, be right back.
Okay, sorry, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I got water. I peed. That was all I said. Um, I also said, pretty cringe if you don't have a poop subscription, which you can buy or gift today and get a little commission from me on my MS Paint stream. And da 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 da. Okay. Let's get into it, boys. We're gonna do the third Bob Ross painting of the day. Uh, the first two turned out. Pretty fantastic, I think, I would say. So I'm expecting this one. Oh wait, 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 I was gonna, okay. So, Gee, I have my what size? Do a, do a little painting for us, and today is one of those days. Steve is How do I open like a new? All of his adult life and, and How do I resize this? Painting when he was 12 years old. So I tell you what, we're gonna turn it over to Steve today and let him do a Properties? fantastic little painting for you. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks, Dad. Uh, Hi, glad you could join me. Hello? Uh, I've already covered the canvas with a thin, even coat of liquid white, uh, so you want to go ahead and do that. What and is this? While you're doing that, they're going to run all what your colors this? across the screen for you. Right what now, size canvas is screen. this? And um, let's see. I think I'll paint something with uh, a big waterfall in it today. Mountains Definitely more and like a big waterfall. Eleven. So um, start off with your two-inch brush. And we'll go into whatever. That's bit good of enough, bros. Blue. Very light. Drag out a little bit of paint. Tap it into those bristles. You guys want me to do a different one because it's not Bob? And I'll do it. I'll here. skip to a different one. Uh, hold Ooh, on. I like that color. I think blue is my favorite. Oh the fuck! Oh yeah. There we go. Sorry, the screen isn't like Hi, welcome back. correct on my TV, so I have to. Unfold. Let's get right on today. Be able to see all the colors across stupid the shit that you need to paint along with us at home. While all right, thank you, sir. That, as usual, let me show you what I have. Today I have my standard old pre-stretched double prime canvas. That looks good and enough. I just covered it with a very thin coat of liquid white. That's all. I'm gonna cover it with this again because I liked that I was able to see. Let's do a um, scene. Oh my god! Wait, that wasn't what I did. Let's Let's start with. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Blue. What is a little black. lighter? We just sort of mix them together. On the I just want it to be kind of like off white so you can actually see the white stuff I that I made. I thought just play a little bit today. It's such a wonderful day here, and I hope it is wherever you're at. That's so a little. Just have a good time with this. There we are. We'll just we'll just pop in a little sky here and there. Something about. Where the watercolor so one? I don't remember. Where I'm leaving some spots open intentionally. Just Basically little this. spots. I don't want this to be a flat old dead sky. I want it to have some life, some action to it. Shoot. I tell you what, maybe we can get a little crazy here. And not Bob. Well, I've got several of these brushes going. I'm going to grab another one, put a little touch, a little touch, not much, a little touch of alizarin crimson. Maybe right along Oh, I want here. this to be like all filled. Just so it's not too Why unique. Just... Sometimes winter scenes can be very... Sorry, I'm mumbling. I need to not mumble to myself because... People need to actually be able to hear me I'm gonna put when I speak. Just a little pink in there, just to give it a little warmth in the background. I don't want much. Don't want much. I still want it to have a distinct winter taste to it. There we are. And we'll just 
place some of that right down to the edge of that pink. And that's basically all it takes. There, blend it a little bit. And that's good. What enough. a joke. That'll give us a Blending. As I say, it has a little life in it, some actions happening. It's not just a flat old dead sky. You can see light areas. And I like that in the sky. Shoot, that's working pretty good. Maybe we'll do the same thing down here. Doesn't matter. Anything that we don't don't use, we'll just turn it into a shadow. If this is a winter scene, maybe we'll have some snow. You gotta have Yeah, let's actually in put snow. effort into or maybe it'll turn out to be water. <laughs> Who knows? It doesn't matter. I don't like the watercolor. It doesn't matter. Because we I also, I, can I wonder, is there a way to like make it so that the paint doesn't run out as you're... Mistakes. We just have happy accidents. Now, there's probably a setting that... There. See something about like that. Then it's a good way to clean the excess paint off your brush. Okay. Let's wash the old brush now. If you've painted with me before, you know that's really the fun part of this. Washing your... Really oh, yeah, that's right. Just washing the brush. Beat it! There. Let's go all the way down the bottom. Yeah, yeah it does. Fun. I usually just wipe the brush on a paper towel to assure it's as dry as I can possibly get it. But you'd be surprised at how... What kind of paper towels do you use? Just um, beating it like that. Let's take a black, Prussian blue, a little touch of crimson. It makes you just want to actually paint. Black real paint. I want real, real life paint, not MS paint. Just take a little bit of white. I'm going to mix up the, mm, put a little more blue in there. Yeah. Epic brand Cutler Archer? Blue I what that's going to Oh, I like it. I like that. That's looking good. Maybe a little more white. You just mix it till it gets to the flavor you like. I think that's wonderful. It's sort of a drab blue color. It's not real bright. It's a nice winter color. All right, let's grab an old brush. Load it full of color. We use the old fan brush today. Maybe in our world, back here. My world. In the background. See, this color is not. But is it tree time? The color that's already on the canvas. Mm. Let's just push upward today and make us a little tree. There, it's pretty close to the color that's on the canvas. And that's what we're looking for. I don't want it to be too much farther away. A little bit pretty close. White. Pretty close. All right. There, maybe another little tree right there. And you decide how many trees live in your world. It's up to you. Totally and completely up to you. As you've probably heard me say before, to me that's what's so fantastic about painting. Is that each and every person will paint differently. And that's what makes it special. These ones, I don't like that they're way. up. I feel like... What a boring time it would be. You wouldn't know what the finished painting was going to be before you start. But because people are different, paintings are They're upside different. down. That's the beauty of it. That's, what That's the beauty of it. Very special. I'm not going to do as many trees at time because, um... Show your individuality. The painting. My thumb actually, like, hurts from holding my mouse. But that's also because I was doing all my designing stuff you for the last few days. You decide. Maybe you want a, a whole forest. Maybe you just want a few. I just want a few. Maybe there's a little baby one right there. He's not so Thanks bad. for understanding me, Bob. I make up little stories. You know, people look at you. Oh my God. Okay, stories. I'm <laughs> sorry. I sorry. just got really lazy with this one. <laughs> Let's have one more. Right there. One more. Eh, it's not that bad. Okay, it's fine. So they're they're a little bit wobbly. It's kind of like it's windy. I take advantage of that all. Oh, he's doing a lot of trees. Maybe I'll do like one more. Now then, I'll do two more. Do a two inch brush. I want to create the illusion of mist down here at the base of this. The illusion of mist. So just by tapping, uh oh, we're we just gonna solve another it, prediction. Solve it disappear over here. You clean those. So look oh wait. Like oh. A little misty area. Did another prediction, or did I just get the thing just for like? Oh, okay, hold on. Like that. I'll look at that in a second. But now we have a whole bunch of trees in the background. So what? It's very misty. A little bit oh, lighter. Already, you have the impression of winter. Like I'm... That easy. All right. Maybe the... What's the, like, the... 
Let's get a clean two inch brush. Time to have some fun. Let's have us a little snow in here. Uh, snow with a two inch brush, very easy. I think we need to stick with watercolor. Full of titanium white. And we have, yeah, the water we have this gray color on the canvas. We, we put on and talked about it being like a shadow. Now it's going to pick that up. Okay, what's the... We just Will this painting resurrect the bob? Yes or no? Here. Place your predictions now. That easy. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Snow is one of the easier things to paint in this technique. Okay. You ready for a little, a little fun today? Maybe. Tell you what. We filmed the show in Indiana. What? There's, a, there's a lot of old barns here that just fascinate me. Let's paint an old barn today. One of the easiest ways is to take a scrape out a basic. How did you find your selection? Scrape it out. Oh. It doesn't have to be exact. That is not an answer. We're not committed here. Yeah, Alan, what games did you get? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. And he comes down like that. Oh shit, he's what is that? A house or a mountain? It's over here for the cow to sleep. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. You decide. Barns come in all kinds of shapes. Farmers are like painters. They they do it their way. I'm gonna do mine over here. Yeah. That's what's so great about being a farmer in this fantastic country. You can do it your way. Alright. I have a lot of friends here that are farmers. Oh my gosh. It actually looks like a roof. They got the best food. And well, I mean <laughs> it doesn't, but <laughs> Just scrape out. So you can see, there's just a basic, basic shape there. And as I mentioned earlier, you are not committed. Van Dyke Brown, Dark Sienna. You can change your mind at this point. A little roll of paint. Now let's begin picking out the little things in here. There's the, the back eave. See there? That easy. I would sleep. Oh, I used the wrong color. That's okay. Good old barn. Oh my gosh. Boop, 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 boop. Gotta make those lines. Like black. Is that even, is that black? See? I think I need to use the oh, ink for this. It's blocking in a little color. We'll come back and do a barn after me after a while and cut it off. You can't see any of the other part of the barn because oh. I um, don't understand physics apparently and mm. all you can see is the roof. Like, it's just, there. Uh, there was a flash flood. See there? It's, uh, it's like in uh, uh, Valheim when you do make them, need to make a fucking... Make little noises. It sort of makes things work better for me. Workbench. Right, and over here. Build a little fucking roof. There we go. See? That's really about all we're looking for to block it in. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Cause here that that looks like a barn, right? That looks like a like <clears throat> that looks like you would uh go up to it and a, a cow would be let's sleeping. Take, let's take, let's take some white. Oh shit, he's gonna be real jealous when he finds out you got six, Tara, and he only got four. Maybe it's just cause I'm better. Alan doesn't need any more games. A little warm feeling. I'm the one who only has 12. Cut off a little roll of paint. Then we can go up in here and just barely touch. Just let it graze, see? Let it graze. It looks like old. Graze what? Good. If you've painted barns and cabins and stuff in before, you know, I, I really like to paint old things. I'm an avid. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's this is it. This is really... What it's about. Get my age, you have a I didn't get any. You can relate to them. Wow, Steve, you're not gonna get Star Skilled any games. And I am old. Older than dirt. Let's take a Find the gamer. Little Van Dyke Brown and I wanna darken that color. So that it's darker over here on the side. Because not, maybe not as much light's gonna hit over here. See? That's much darker. Oh. Now then. Let's put some boards in there. That we'll just take some Van Dyke Brown. I don't like the barn part. Um, I'm choosing to just um. There. See there. I wish the barn was. This is bad. Real. My father. I could redo it, but also. A few barns. I don't want to have to pause it. There. It's not this easy. They won't run on our shitty laptop. Something about I've been there. Now then. 
So happy that all my games actually run now. All my 12 games. Because we said this was winter. Excuse me, Mr. Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy? Let's just outline it so that way you get a nice straight edge when you pull it down. Watch. See there? There we go. Now then, a little more of the white. Nice straight edge. Touch more. There. There we go. Nice straight edge. That loop looks like edge. all up on top of the old barn. Leave it over there. Eight. See some on that side too. Edge. It kind of looks like a tent. Like, it looks like somebody made a little tent by the lake and it's uh like half flapped open there, let me get some more white. same thing though I want to out or like so you have a nice straight i don't know maybe that's like a camp but ooh, maybe i'll put like nice. okay this is a tent now some uh something about like yeah like a good brown They don't really have any. But you can just move the fuck. It, pull it. The fuck's the brown? Any way that you want it. All right, we need a door. Sure, we'll go with that. Have a way to get in and out there. Let's take some Van Dyke. Watch this. Decide where your door lives and. Once again, don't worry. About this would blow door. Bob's mind. Don't do a barn ectomy, as I mentioned earlier. We'll oh God, hold on. Wherever we want it to be. Which is about time to do now. Let's say the old barn right along in there. See? Didn't take too much. A little bit. Or sometimes I paint them. You can't really see. A lot off the bottom. Because I get carried away. I get carried away. I get telling that stories either. and things. That blue. Just look cool. Now there's a little. Now wait. Okay. This is a tent and there's like a little campfire in front of it and somebody's hanging out by the lake. Let's find our old one two inch brush. Old two inch brush. Got a little snow on it. Who pill? Little snow. Let's go up here. Eighteen yeah. now. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. I uh, thanks for doing the math for me though. Stardew Valley stream when is that what um, is that what I should do next? Cause I was trying to decide what uh, what I should do next week basically, and I've kind of narrowed it down between like that or uh, I've also got RimWorld and I'm better at playing it than Alan is. Um, so I could do that, um, or The Sims 4. <clears throat> I tried to get the, uh, Sims 1 working, but unfortunately, uh, for one thing, they apparently don't support the disc, like, at all anymore. Uh, so I found some sort of little file thing that, or, like, a download of it on a website and it also doesn't seem to be cooperating with me so if i can get that running i could also possibly do the sims 1 trying to but i definitely can do the sims 4 i've got that um what else did i uh, yeah i think i was just kind of deciding between like the sims and stardew and rimworld because those are all games that i kind of feel like playing right now Make the sounds. <laughs> like that? Stardew is fun until you get to winter. Fuck that season. Yeah, I actually have uh, played it before. Um, on I used to have it on my phone. Uh, and me and my mom got super obsessed with playing it a couple of years ago. So it's been a few years since I did play it. I can't remember the storyline too. Like, I sort of do. But I don't remember all the stuff that you have to do. But I remember the basics, like the farming and stuff like that. It's really, it's really fun. I kind of, uh, her download is probably an ISO, and she doesn't have an ISO reader. Oh, oh, the uh, wait, what sounds? Wait, what are you talk? I don't know what you're talking about, Alan. Uh, which DLC do I have? Um. I've got a few of the packs. I just don't remember which ones. 
mostly like the earlier ones that came out like some of the first ones that came out because i haven't been buying them lately but let me see if i can get my list pulled up fast enough Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm dumb and I don't know where to pull the list up at, but yeah, I've got some of the, I have some of the earlier deal, like the earlier expansion packs and some of the stuff packs. Um, and I might look into the ones that they've released since then, just to see what I want, but. Uh, yeah, I do have to get to work. More like, get to work here. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Okay, I'll uh, go back to it. Stalling. There we are. I got excited about my tent. There. Over here okay, so snow. we're adding more snow. Right up. Yeah. So big. Oh, wait. It's kind of like ice. Put a little snow around his foot. That easy. Once again, snow is so easy to paint when you're using a big old two-inch brush. So easy to paint. Big old toothbrush. There's one. Looks pretty good. Find us a place to work on their old palette. Gotta have a big palette. Big palettes. Very, Can you just say little palette? Very helpful. Oh. It's almost as important as having a. What is having? Yeah, this palette on uh, the screen is tiny. It holds your paint firmly. You're painting firmly. Be able to hold more colors. Two inch brushes. You really need a good, firm easel, a large palette. It'll pay you tremendous dividends. Let's mix up some color here right on the brush. A little Prussian blue, black, brown, a little crimson. All in good color. Here we go. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Maybe right here. I'm going to put a little paint thinner. Just thin the paint. It's a little thick. I like some paint stones. just a little bit pretty soon you begin to get a feel for it when it touches it but don't want to pull just right then you can add a little thinner but not don't and those are stones i just knew the paint wasn't going to come off the brush unless i did i don't have a happy little tree he lives right there just a little guy a little guy right on the side of the barn let's go on the other side over here you know me <laughs> bravery test here we go bigger tree Big old tree. Okay, hey, we're on to trees again. There's so oh much God! To make. Hold on a sec. And they're very simple. Very very simple. Takes a little practice, like everything else. Everything in your life takes a little practice. But you can learn to paint this technique faster than any painting technique that I have ever seen. And I think I've tried just about all of them. There. And oils. It's really brown you know. compared. They possess a richness that no other medium Back to possesses. The dark. I think that's why the old masters painted mostly in oils. They just have a, a richness. Other mediums to me are very flat when they're dry. There. And they're harder. This is the easiest because it's very forgiving. You can't make a mistake. Wow, look, it's going like off the can. All right, let's take. Let's take some of that nice gray color we had. Maybe right in here. Maybe there's a little, maybe there's a little path that just works its way out. Just works its way out here. Something about. I like went too big to. Put some gray in there. On that side. Sweet. Can come right on, right on out. Yeah. I, I need to make this taller. Put some highlights on our little evergreens. Oops. Running out of room today. Fuck. Running out of room. There we go. Now, Wasn't it matching up? Whatever. Who cares? Fine. Liquid white, titanium white, and phthalo blue. I changed the blue. I've been using Prussian blue through the entire painting. Now I want to use phthalo blue. Oh shit! He's using the same blue. I want to highlight these trees, and the phthalo blue will stand out a little bit. Just want it to, to stand out. 
What this is, is this? A news briefs. I just made a decision. A little bit lighter than command level decision right here. You decide what kind of tree lives in your world. All right. Back to the spray paint. Picks up a little more of that little blue and white. Don't want that other little. I don't know. How come it? That other little tree left out right there. Now you have to decide. I want it to look worse one. than this. I think the small one here is. So you do the one behind him first. How's that? See? And his little tree over here. Don't forget him. He'll get sad. Get him. He'll get sad. He'll get I'm too um, lazy to actually follow the lines that I already put. That easy. That easy. Okay. Happy so little leaves. Oh, the battle's ready. A little bit of titanium white. Allow it to pick up some of that color. Allow it to pick it up. Left attention. So that way you get all these different things happening. Leaves neat. These whole winter scenes are a lot of fun, and I really think they might be the easiest ones to do. Big one. There we are. And we just blend that a little bit till it looks nice and soft and pretty. And this little tree over here. Dark. Now I'm intentionally grabbing some of that dark color. Intentional. We'll put him up on a little hill, sort of. That easy. He sort of sits up high. Isn't that neat? But just by pulling some of that color that you can create that illusion. It's unbelievable to have this kind of power. Unbelievable. Too much power for one man. There we go. All right. See the little path? It's coming right along there. Maybe. There we go. You just decide where your little path. And you can take your fan brush that has the gray on it. And we'll just polish the edges up a little bit, however you want them. See, perfect. You can just go back and forth and work this until it, until it gets just what we consider perfect. Perfect. And sometimes it's nice to... This actually is kind of cute. Get a little doodle here. Then lift up. Lift it up. Make it look like little bushes and weeds live in there. This is a tree moment. Maybe there's one coming out here. I don't know. Get to work is the only one that so, matters. True. You decide. Yeah, I feel like that's the one you need for like every mod too. Sticks and wigs. Then, Sims 4, but we open a shitty store stream. Like, open a store in The Sims, uh, like in your house. We'll just use that same brush. Ready to get crazy? I know you could do that in The Sims 3, and there's a mod for that. And... Mostly Van Dyke Brown. There's a little black on the brush, I think. It doesn't matter. In our world, in our world. All right, what? Ready for your bravery test? Okay, here it comes. There. Okay, let's give him a friend. Let's give him a friend. God. There. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. Something about my kid. Maybe. Maybe oh. this is an old birch tree that lives out here. It's up to you. You can make your... Whatever. If you wanted to, doesn't matter. There. Come on, Tara. You knew this. Something like so. There we are. You know, it's hard to believe. This is the 31st series of the Joy of Painting. Good gosh, there's over 400 shows there. That's fucking. Uh, yeah. When I was looking and I saw how many seasons there were, there's like fucking 30 something seasons, and I was like, Allowing I didn't even realize that. This long. We've been doing this show now for well over 11 years. 11 come here. Years. Come here. Hello? And you've made me feel very special to invite me into your home and to let me be part of your family. Thank you very much. If you hadn't got to see all the shows in your area and you would like to. Sorry for my ugly concentration. They're available to us. Hard. They're available to us. Or if you want to see some of them over again. Only way they know. A little brown but pink kind of here. I'm just going to put on some. No. Oh. It's too cold for there being any leaves on here. They went 
the get to work mod allows you uh, to open an or DLC gets to open allows you to open an actual shop. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I haven't played The Sims 4 in a fucking long time, and I always mix up the stuff that was in The Sims 3 and The Sims 2 and The Sims 1. It's all, like, basically... Don't worry about what's behind it. Are you? Are you paying it? Just pay it. Don't worry about it. Nature didn't worry. You don't worry. Okay, a few more little lanes here. Shoot, I think we're about about to the point where we got this rascal looking pretty good. Maybe fighters. Maybe there's a little stick right in there. I don't know. <laughs> maybe let's go right over in here. Maybe over in here, we can put the indication of just a few little twigs and sticks and things that are living everywhere. Something about like that. Shoot, I think with that we've done everything. Where the fuck did he add those other sticks? What, just like? We'll sign this rascal. Really All over. You've enjoyed this little painting. I hope you'll try it. It'll give you a lot of experience using the equipment, and with experience comes confidence. With confidence and competent. Do anything. That you believe you can do from all of us here until next time i'd like to wish you happy painting god bless my friend and uh there uh this is my uh happy little trees over here all over the place this is actually this one actually uh out of all the three that we've done so far has i think turned out the best right, welcome back uh, you for me today. Today I know I didn't do like the barn thing that he did because I fucked it up, but I also like that I turned it into a uh, something different. I think he, I think Bob Ross would like that. They're not very, very good. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it is actually like decent. Um. Bob Ross winter. All right, final verdict. Where is Bob Ross? Um, I don't know. Maybe did somebody take down that phone number from earlier? You can call it and see. Hmm. I must forget about the streamers battle. Ooh, we got a big clump of boys. Let's see. Archer. What do we have lots of archers. It looks like a lot of rain. Ooh, this healer. All these little skins are. Man, Foop's name is blocking that. These puppies are cute. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm, um,. Stick it right there, because they'll probably not have to move very far. I would imagine. Yeah, perfect. Rockfiller's Berserker is just going in there, following them. Missing his chances. There he goes. Yeah, get that one. Hell yeah. Those arrows are giant, dude. Hell yeah, that was quick. And, wow. Hmm. Um, Rock, Pil Rock Pillar's Berserker did a lot of work, so. Wait, it, what was it your Berserker? It was, right? I hope it was. I hope it was. Anyway, Rock Pillar, you complimented my painting, so. Oh, shit! Fucking jackpot, baby! You can upgrade your mage! You got a skin! Too bad I'm further than you in these. Let's see, what do you have? Um... I want to look at the skins. I'm going to let you upgrade your stuff or whatever, but... 
You already have a musketeer skin. Oh yeah, you do. Um, I like this one better. I like that one better. You got a lot of tank skins. Okay, anyway, sorry. Let's continue. Um, We can go to this one. Or we can go to this one. Let's go to this one. This guy's big. Or does it... Yeah, let's go to this one, because I, I like the mystery one. I had a preserve. Clothes shopping for me. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do the thing, because getting close. Yep. Beep. Laser units? Oh, yeah, shit. I'll upgrade him, because I know you want to. Epic. Epic adventures. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Gotta clear my head. Like, you know when you uh, are at a perfume shop and you are smelling all the different perfumes and you've got to smell, like, the coffee beans uh, in between, like, each perfume so that it resets your nose or whatever? Gotta reset my brain. Get into a different uh, mindset. Let's see. This one is called Secluded Bridge, so that sounds kind of neat. Um, I'm not gonna do... I think I saw part of this one, and he made the bridge look fucking awesome, and I'm not imagining that this is gonna turn out uh, as good as the first one, but you'll be surprised. In this size. Is... Okay, cool. Yeah, I thought we'd do a fantastic little painting, maybe that's maybe it's deep in the woods. Start talking to me, baby! I think you'll enjoy it, Evan. So let's start out and have them graphically run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with. Graphically. Them. They'll come across in the same order as I have them on the palette, starting with the white and working around. While they're doing that, let's go on up here. <sighs> I have the good old standard 18 by 24 inch canvas, and I've already covered it with a thin, even coat of the liquid white, and it's all wet and slick, and it's it's ready to do a fantastic Oh, yeah, Alan, thing. if you're so already thinking about it, uh, it I think fun. the reason that I look so today, white right now today is because of the use a little like white canvas blue, screen. I don't know if I can... Blue. We'll like pick up a little sap green so we make it look any better oops why did that happen green. just sort of mix them on the brush yeah it, it's paint. it's the screen bunch of paint. now then we're gonna be deep in the woods oh yeah i wanted to do that just thing again nice colors back in here so just sort of dance this around twirl it let it play don't get it too even we want it to be dark in areas and light in areas and use a lot of pressure in places and no pressure in places a lot of pressure in just make all these little different things happen. Just like so. Just like so. This. Color on the brush. We'll just yeah, like as you do this a few times, you kind of get really push hard the, uh, you want it to be darker and then or you want it light. Um caress the canvas. Methods a little bit. Very soft. To figure out how to make it actually look so the way it's supposed to, since you can't do it, like blending and stuff. Blue. Sort of start to get blue, it. And sap green. Just mix on the brush. There, I want a little darker right in there. This is like a minion's butt. And you don't care where this goes. Just let it just let it blend down and play. Wherever. Wherever. It makes no difference. Okay. Now then, let me wash the brush. And we wash our brush with odorless thinner. I have a screen in the bottom of this bucket that I scrub the, the brush against. Shake out the excess. <laughs> I'm gonna Google the setting to make it so that I don't have to. to it. Now then, with a clean, dry brush, I'm gonna go right back up in here. Uh, so that the paint doesn't run out together. as I'm brushing. And you can over blend it till it's fucking annoying. Just one solid mass of color. I don't want to lose all these light and dark areas here. I just want to bring it together just just about like so, right in there. Right in there. Sometimes it's hard to stop. Things get working so well, you just want to keep going. There. When we're all finished, I hope this looks like trees. Wee back in the distance. 
All kinds of little things. Wait, what? Back here. Okay. That gives us a nice little background. We'll just go across, take out the brace strokes. This is fucked up. I'm gonna have some water down here. So I'll use some phthalo blue. Beat the shit out of your computer to some resemble when he green. beats the shit out of his brush. A little black. Now oh, shit, my uh. I'll just, I'm gonna have look. Water maybe right in here. Maybe a little bit more. All right, nobody black. talk about that. There we go. I want this to be dark. Start at the bottom because. Oh, when he beats the shit out of his meat. We'll that man's dead. Up. Don't talk about him that way. A liquid white. An He's coming in his grave right now. Got to pummel the chicken before frying it, you know. Water will be somewhere in there. Let's talk about that. We're not going to talk about it. Okay, wash the old brush one more time. That's the most fun part of this whole technique is just, just washing the brush. Sometimes they slip out of your hand and go across the room. There. Do they? Now I'm gonna take the liner brush, put some oh, thinner this on man's it, nuts. and go right into a little bit of Van Dyke brown. Now this paint is thin like water. It's about the consistency of ink. Turn that brush. Oops. Pull it to a nice sharp point. See there? Good. Let's go up here. Now then, we're gonna start making some decisions. There's all kinds of bad things at that though. In here. Just wherever you think they should live, that's where they'll live. Look at them. I want to deal with decisions. Trees. And we can just put the indication here in their happy little limb. If it doesn't want to flow off your brush, add a little bit more of the thinner. See? And happy it'll little just flow. And I'm just going to put in some basic Happy little gimp. When you're at home and you have all kinds of time, you can put in just as many or as few as you want. There we go. Just wherever you think there should be a tree. On a tree. Exactly where it should be. And you can lift up. Some people find it easier to lift upward. Some find it easier to pull downward. Try it both ways. Whichever works best for you, then that's the right way. There. See? Just as many as you want or as few. And don't make them all straight. Trees grow every which way. Some of them have little, little kinks in them. And they're like people. Everybody's different. They all got Trees kinks in them. Let them be individuals. Let them have personalities. Rascals. I'm just Looks trying to like see how like far like down. Woods already back here. Now, sometimes it's nice when these paintings dry to have a tree trunk that has some shine to it. So for that, I use liquid clear. Take a little liquid clear and thin the paint down. Now put these in tree trunks that I don't are have that. closer. Now when this dries, these trunks, it'll look almost like they're glazed. And by glaze, it just that's a a thin paint with an oil base that's put over. The old masters used to use a lot of glazing. It's very pretty. So that'll help push all those that back there farther back. There we go. There. Just wherever you want these. There we go. Don't want to get too carried away here. You could spend all day just putting in all kinds of beautiful little trees. Damn right I could, Bob. All right. The old liner brush does fantastic things. A liner brush is nice because it has a long hair on it. Dude, he'd be so good at talking to chat. Hair, and it holds a lot of paint. Unlike me. Okay. Ew. Now then. Tree is then uh, the not growing brush. the right way. That's why it's fucking dying. And I'm going to mix up. Let's take some of that phthalo blue. Little sap green, and I'm gonna reach right over here, grab a little touch of white. Dark more to the blue. Oh, that's side. almost like almost what I. There we go. Have a little bit. So that's a little blue, sap green, touch of white. I'm gonna add a little black. It's too bright. Too bright. A little more white, so we can see what we got. Good, good. Very nice. Now let's take. The old oval brush and just load a little bit of paint. We don't want a whole bunch. It looks about right. Let's go right up in here and then just begin just putting a few little details. See how it makes that oval brush makes it look like there's thousands of little leaves on those rascals. Super for that. And I'm just barely, barely tapping. Barely tapping. 
sort of look at where you think they might live and drop them in. Drop them in. Now, if you want them to have more curve on them, then hold the brush downward. If you want them to be straight, go straight in, see? Isn't that neat? No. Just barely touching. Allow the canvas to take off what it wants. And then canvas down, these nuts. Just, we're getting into some things that are Looks like a bunch of like ants are just like eating the nice bushy creatures that live here. Just like so. And some that just sort of float around. Okay, there. There's one. He lives right there. So you can just have as many or as few as you want. Many click. Much clicking. All kinds of little things. All kinds of little friendly. It pushes everything back. All up in my. Maybe over in here, there's some. All up in the club. Indications. These Getting are just tips. Sort of show through, and it'll look like there's all kinds of little branches and leaves. And squirrels have to have a place to hide. I call squirrels. Aren't squirrels bastards? They live in the tree. I wouldn't oh, know. I live in Arizona. We I've seen like four I squirrels here. I've seen squirrels in other places, but I have all kind of little creatures I read. But I like to see them because I don't see them very often. But I feel like everybody who sees squirrels all the time is like, "Fuck squirrels!" <laughs> Oopgasm. On the last show, I think I showed you my little bird. Maybe I'll show him again. We've got we're beginning to get so many calls about him. Maybe we'll just have to show him again. Alrighty. Tell you what, let's do. Let's take a little brown. This is just straight Van Dyke brown. I'm gonna start making some decisions. Maybe there's some land that lives back here. Okay, sorry. Just, all I'm doing here, just right. pushing in sorry, some Bob. color. Sorry, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Like so. Trying to catch up. Trying to catch up. Trying to catch up. Trying to catch up. My wrist hurts. No big deal. We'll take a little white. This is like a little white. You know exactly what it's like. A little dark sienna. Just pull that out. Cut us in the bean. Flick in the bean. Barely touch. Just put the indication of a little highlight here and there. I don't want too much. This is too far back. It's too dark back in here. Oh shit, brown. It's that looks dark. about okay. Now then, we'll use a uh, um, old number six fan brush. I'm gonna go right into some yellow. I went into the, the liquid white first, going into some yellow, reach up here and grab some sap green Eighth. over here and a little bit of black. I want this to be quite dark. A little yellow ochre to it. <sighs> what this is this man doing now? I, I, there's like kind of like rocky. Now maybe but... back in here, we're beginning to see a little color. Just push upward with that brush. Pretty red, but. Just pushing upward. Look at there. See, and all these little things just sort of happen here. And maybe I'm using that oval brush again. Here I'm gonna add a little color just put the least little touch of highlight here and there. Not much. Not much yet. But we get into the foreground, then we begin adding more highlights. But right now, right now, I just want the least little indication Dream one. there. A little light playing through there. Begin picking out just Oop, gaming. Sort of some individual little bushes. Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, what I kind of... I'm going to use a little fan brush. Ice. Liquid white. Titanium white. Load the brush full of paint. A lot of paint. Okay. Let's go right up here. Oh my God! Was that him swallowing again? Is that him? Is that him swallowing? Or is that like a paint-like thing that like keeps happening that I'm hearing? Just, just think. Freak me out. Think. Just, you know, just pretend you're water coming down here and having a good time, and just the world's happy. God, I wish I was water. Day. And all of a sudden, oh. Bloop fall over it just falls right over look at that and that easy you can make a happy little waterfall wait what there. that's what this is drops right over but you need the dark underneath or it won't show and it splashes down here underneath this waterfall okay hold on i think i got this and it's just all kinds of little things going on like so so many little happy things so put a little splashy here and there maybe it it's a stone under the water there. And all these little things just, just splash. I'll see you. See? All the little water actions just 
This fan brush is fantastic for doing these. Just absolutely unreal. Okay. And sometimes it's fun just to just to play a little. Let me find. There it is. We'll just take a one-inch brush and go right into. We'll use some brown, some black, a little sap green. I want a very dark green here. Let's have a. Maybe there's a happy little bush. He lives right here. Just push upward. I want a very dark little bush right here. He's in the shadows in my world. In your world, maybe he's maybe he's in the sunshine. So you can put all kinds of happy little little highlights. There's never any sun. In world. Today doesn't put the sun in his peak. There. We'll put another one right there. Just sort of close all that in. That neat. See, it pushes that whole area back here. Just pushes it right back into the into the background. And then. This is kind of getting the point across a little have, bit. You'd have to have a way. I think I need to add more of like this. So let's do that. Let's have some fun. I'll take some Van Dyke Brown. Maybe there's a happy little bridge here. Okay. It. I tell you what, maybe it's behind these bushes and all you can see is the part that goes over the water. So let's have it come up. And then maybe like this. There we go. We'll put some character in it. And a base. has a little bend. Tackle. There. Let me get the small knife. Small knife will do a little better for that. Bridge time. I'll put some little posts on here. So oh shit, he added more trees that I like didn't even- I fucking hold- Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. I need to pause it for like two seconds while I get those other trees in here because I totally missed that like whole part. Um... I'm just gonna kind of. I know it's. They don't look the same as. They don't look the same as the ones that he did, but that's okay. Um, they're trees. They're happy trees, and that's what fucking matters when you're doing Bob Ross. That's fucked up. That's okay though. Okay, that's fine. Isn't that cute? There we go. That, that goes over behind the bush. Then take the big knife. I we'll had to put a little rail up here. We don't, we don't want anybody to fall off this bridge and get wet. See there? I knew you could do that. Why does it still look like the fucking? Oh shit! Because huh? it is still the tiniest little bit of paint. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just an indication of a little highlight here and there. Just to brighten him up, make him sing in the sunshine. There used to be a song about singing in the sunshine. Okay, back to my small knife. Now I'll put a little all knife here on these posts. Little knife gets right in there and does these little things. Big hands. There. And maybe here and there the light really hits it. You add a little, just a little sparkle of white. Just don't overdo. Just here and there. Maybe the light's zinging through there and hits right there too. Gives it a little sparkle. Makes that, makes that little rascal jump out at you. All right. There we go. Little rascal. Right, we'll push this little bridge behind this bush. We don't know where he lives. Whatever. Same thing over here. I'm gonna push this bridge completely back behind these bushes. Like it. Bushes, bushes, so bushes. Get a big one. I'll go right into my Van Dyke Brown. I'm gonna have a, a lot of land areas and big rocks and maybe, maybe there's some big. Let's just do it. Just do it. Just, just take the the big brush. It's a straight Van Dyke Brown. And here we're just applying dark color. There's one that comes right on out here. And all you're doing is laying basic shapes. We'll go back with a knife and straighten all this out and make big decisions about where things live. But right now, all we're interested in is just basic shapes. Maybe this one comes way on out here. There. Just fill, um, it, up. Lake. Just fill it up full of color. Like so. 
really hope you enjoyed seeing my little bird on the last show. He's coming bird. along fine if you're following his progress. So I say we've got so many calls. Maybe bird. Maybe on one of the future shows I'll bring him back, and let you see him again. I think bird. I think you'll like him. He's my friend. Bird. Bird. And, uh, oh, like. I, I, I've taken care of him under the supervision of of the bird lady. We have the a bird lady. Lady here in Muncie who takes care of all the injured animals and stuff, and they call her the bird lady. I want to be fucking known as the. She keeps me straight and tells me how to take care of all these little creatures. Be cool. In fact, one of these days we'd like to do a we'd like to do a television show where we show you what she does and and people like her all over the country that devote their time and money and energies into taking care of all of God's little creatures because they're they're super special people. Well, maybe one day we can do that. All right. <laughs> Now then, same old dirty brush. He just like fucking answer. runs his Sat show like a poop. Pull this brush in one direction. Load a lot of paint into it. It's just tiny little bit of sap green. I'm gonna grab some dark sienna too. So we've got dark sienna, Van Dyke brown, and sap green. Maybe, maybe over here there's gonna be a big tree. It lives right here. So we can go ahead and throw in some dark color. See how this dark, it sort of closes in and makes your eye go toward the water. It's lighter. All right, let's do it on the other side. Maybe there's a happy thing that lives wherever. You just make a decision and put it in. Mm. Wherever, wherever. There we go. See, that quick, we got all that blocked in. And we're ready to start picking out some, some beautiful little details. Okay. Now that. Let me find, let me find a one inch brush. I'm gonna dip it into a little bit of liquid white, some yellow, and I'm gonna grab some midnight black. I want this to be a dark, dark green. Pull that brush in one direction, one direction, load it. One direction? Color. That's my favorite Let's band. Play. Yeah, I already made that joke. Right here, we'll put on some dark leaves there, just to begin building some shape and form into this big tree that lives here. Just like so. Look at all those things. Green. So, but think of individual little bushes and limbs and stuff that are all living in here. Each one has its own personality. All kinds of happy little things. There's one. And then let's just go crazy. You can just make hundreds and hundreds of them. Do them in layers. Do the one that's farthest away first and work forward. That way it, it has depth and distance in there. Add a little yellow ochre to that. Maybe there's one right here on this side. A little bit of light zinging through there. See, you can leave some of them dark in total shadow, especially when you're doing these deep wood scenes where you can use almost pure deep green, just barely. <laughs> My fucking bridge is pathetic. Very dark. Hang on a minute. Yeah. See? Bob, can we right here, discuss this? The light's gonna zing through and you tell me how to fix that? What did I do? What do I do? What do I do with this? Right, darker, darker, darker down here. What do I do? Areas. Leave these dark areas. They're very, very I like important. Me. Very important. I'm gonna wash that old brush off. Give them a shake. There we go. Now then, let's start. Let's start picking out some stones and rocks. We use some dark sienna. That's here. a little. It, it, it at least looks a little bit better. It. Yeah, maybe. I would say that, but. Here, we're beginning to see some, some nice rocky areas. Still want this to stay quite dark. Quite dark. Just all kinds of things happening. Rocks. Rocks, rocks, okay, rocks, 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 rocks. Okay, now watch here, watch here. This is so much fun because now you can make a decision if there's a big cliff. Yeah, here's the brown rocks again that I fuck right up. That's what I'm looking for. And you can just bring that around and leave this right in front. You can make all kinds of little things that go up in there. Like so. A madman. One erection. Now sometimes some of these stones get just full of little 
grassy and mossy things. So just tap, tap with the fan brush, like so. Okay. This is in the greens and the yellows. And all you do is just tap, just touch, pick out individual stones. See, makes it look like it's just all kinds of little grassy, slimy things. Some things that are grassy, wet slimy things. Kind of algae and oh, it's pretty. Stones look like they have fur on them. Yeah, that looks like moss. Right down here by the water. Maybe you can just do as many of these. Now leave some dark. Don't don't kill all the dark. Look at all those little rascals. <laughs> just like some moss on the ground. Okay, back to my one inch brush. A little bit of the yellow and the green. Now then, let's bring all this together. Begin putting all kinds of little bushes that live here. See, and they follow the lay of the land, coming right down like this. As many or as few as you want. This is your world. Um. It happened. You conveying know. bushes is hard. Tell you what. Tell you what. Maybe there's one. It lives down here. See how you can bring all that together? And we'll go back with our little fan brush. And let's put some little I'm gonna put berries on it. On these stones too. We don't want them to be left out. There we go. Oh. So all kinds of little rascals. Got it. Wait, what is it? Yeah, uh, we can come right over here. Maybe there's a happy little bush. He lives right there. Why is it coming out his lines? What the fuck did Just I do? Your what did I do? Crazy. Let's get the small knife. And we can take some dark brown. Come right in here. The berries. And just begin adding all kinds of little little foots on these stones. Let's bring them straight down. If you get a little that in the water, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's, can fix easy. See? Just all Bob, I don't think that uh, we're on the same. Now then, let me find my fan brush. Let him swallowing again? Liquid white and titanium white on it. A lot of paint on the brush. A lot of paint. Just now then, let's begin cleaning up the bottom of all this stuff. Water splashing into some of these little recessed areas here. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Splash. I don't have any recessed areas. Oh, there's a little, got a little stone underneath the water. Just sort of look at it and make decisions. There's stones underneath the water all over. There's water yeah, so at the bottom of the ocean. They go in all kinds of directions. This water is just churning through here. You ever listen to a little stream? It has one of the most Oh, you're all listening to a little stream. It's me. So I'm the little stream. It's to have a house that was right next to a little stream. What have I done? Night you go to sleep listening to all that the bubbling and churning. Just as many as you want. Mm. Look at there. Mm. Right I'm there. just comfortable with with this, with what I've got. Okay, now then, let's let's take a. I'm gonna dip right into some liquid clear. Some brown. Maybe there's some nice trees. Shoom, live just wherever. As many of them as you want, or as few. You can just drop a tree here and there. So, a couple little tree limbs here and there. More huge oh. trees. Yeah, we'll take our oval brush. Put a little, we'll put a little brighter yellow on it. The old clock on the wall tell me I gotta finish this up. <laughs> Just have like an indication of all kind of little leaves hanging here. See there? It's that easy. You can really it's really that easy little painting in just a matter of minutes as I say the old clocks tell me I got to leave you for this this time but I'll be back so we'll put a little leaf maybe there's one that hangs out right here like that I think that pretty well gives us a finished little painting from all of us here happy painting. wait Bob I'm almost done yes. Okay, bye. Bye. Uh, you didn't. You didn't stay. You didn't see the, uh, the 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 finished. I didn't finish before you left.
up. Aren't, aren't, aren't you gonna... I mean, if, 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 if you don't have time to stick around, that's, uh, that's okay, but... That's that one. I did that one. Shh. Bob always leaves without looking at your drawing. Yeah, I know he's rude. But yeah, that was the little um, bridge over the waterfall. You can't really, the bridge um, has literally zero detail for me. Uh, you can't tell what the fuck it is, but it uh, actually looks not like 2D. So. That's right. Oh shit, battle's ready. Good timing, baby. Uh, let's see. Oh, we've got a bunch of epics. Stick it there. Let's stick it in. Star skilled point blank that man in the fucking face, dude. Dude, you're going after test tube babies? That little pink. Hello, come here. What is he? The little, like, dragon. That's cute. We did it! Uh, the fucking barbarian scroll. I'm just gonna let it random. Star skilled. That's for point blank and that man in the face. This is the yeah, that's the only one. I can. Star skilled put down two epics and I still wrecked her. Honed. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Barbarian could be leveled up. Pick him. Right there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I'll go back to this. Blank boy. Like, oh. Sorry, hold on. It's all the fuck the way over here, and I have to, like, look around my light, so I'm sorry for being in this weird position for- I like the sound of the Northern Lights one. Welcome back. Glad you could join me today. I just- the other- I think the one I was choosing was another, like, and here we find ourselves was just really similar to the ones that we've already done, so. so I thought today- you know, since I lived in Alaska so long, I do a special. Holy Alaska shit! Painting. I was like, so "Where's this canvas? What size is this canvas?" Now I've taken a black canvas, as you can see, brother. Now we painted this with just a flat black acrylic paint, allowed that to dry, and then on top of that, I've put all different kinds of transparent colors. I've put some right in here, some alizarin crimson over in here, some phthalo green. Okay, uh, so I should phthalo blue and green mixed all over the canvas, so it's completely covered with a thick paint. So it's all ready to go. So let's have them graphically run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint this project with me. And I think today we'll do some northern lights. So come on up here and let's, let's get started. I'm going to use the old fan brush today. So mm. probably one of the best ways to do this is sort of take... I'm just going to leave it black. black I don't think that I can convey exactly what he shapes. did. And if you've never seen the northern lights... Hello? A lot of times they're in what they call curtains or just layers. Now, if in your part of the country there's no such thing as northern lights, you can do the same scene, leave the lights out, and maybe put a little moon well, in the sky, probably and it'll be just as there. effective. But once again, for my friends in Alaska, today I want to do. A I can brush. barely see what what is he doing? Brush, brush. What did he do? I know, like he like. Now we already have all did he, like, the beautiful colors on the canvas, so all we need is white. Let's go up here. Now, decide where these curtains or these lights are going to be, and just begin tapping. See, all I'm doing is just tapping. 
you're tapping the color in and make your basic shapes. Just very basic shapes. And put a little more paint where you want to be a little brighter. And we have one coming right across here. And I'm just tapping titanium white on that. Sometimes there's little ridges and they bounce around and there it comes. See, it's right on around. Right on around. Oh my God, okay, hold on a sec. Right, we'll have three layers of lights in this painting. And you can have as many as you want or as few as you want. It's up to you. Up to you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Calm down. Calm down, Tara. Calm down. This is where the fun starts. And let's take a one-inch brush. And I'm going to begin grabbing this and lifting it upward. Just grab it and pop it. Just pop it up. Damn, it's hot in my... There we go. Already you can see it begin picking up some of the different colors. And here, like so. Let's grab this one, lift it up. Johnny Horton wrote a beautiful song. Who? Northern Lights. Northern Lights. Johnny, what? In the land of the midnight. Who's my dad? And I lived there for over a dozen years. And that has to be, that has to be one of the prettiest countries in the world. God was really having a good day when he made Alaska. <laughs> I'm going to take yeah. a huge brush. I don't know about that. I mean, and lift up. I'm pretty All sure that Alaska has the most, like, All the same angle. Both oh, rape God. and suicide, like statistics. There you go. And you can pull these as high because as well. there's like only men there. In some parts of the country. And so they're all see a lot of incels. They see maybe only white. And then also, uh, the sun goes away for so long, but they I all get sad. Out of Fairbanks, in a little town called North Pole. Sometimes we would see lights in every color. In My arm is starting to hurt from. Makes it a little more interesting. So I figured if I did a bunch of colors, you'd find your color in here somewhere. Okay, you see now right in here, this is where the crimson was, and you have sort of a lavender feel in here, the blue in here. Over here, there's a little phthalo green mixing with a phthalo blue. Makes some beautiful, beautiful colors in the sky. So let's watch. Bob, please. Bit. Give it a shake. Okay. <laughs> Just beat the devil out of it. And no painting of Alaska. He said it! He said it! He said it! Take a little Did the thing! A little bit of phthalo blue. We'll even put a little Van Dyke brown in there. Very dark. Pull it out flat, cut across, get that little roll of paint right on the edge of the knife. Okay, let's go up here. You have to make a big decision. Where does your mountain live? Maybe right there. It takes very little paint because the canvas Wait, is it's black. so blue now though. How do you make it so much bluer? Put a little bump you son of a bitch, Bob. Valleys, whatever you want in your mountain. Just drop it in there. Like so. Hmm. And what do I do about that? Paint. You really, really can't scrape I don't too know if hard. I can make it look. Then we'll take a large brush, grab it, and pull. This just basically removes excess paint. The more of this paint that you can get off, the easier the next layer is to stick. So take off all of it that you can get off. Bad man. This is also an excellent way of using brush strokes to begin laying out your highlights and shadows. See? See how you can pull all kinds of effects? Okay. And there you want to. And you're not committed. You can just keep changing this and playing with it. Looks like what a 12 year old would consider a dramatic interpretation yeah. of a hand. I was already yeah. thinking like fucking. Uh, some shadows were looking there. Sausage Sweet. fingers. Or you can just keep going to spend all day just playing there. Okay. Now then. Let's use our old knife. We'll go into titanium white. Um, and a little bit of blue. One's making me sleepy. Just a small amount of blue. Uh oh, I missed like everything that he. To ten up there. Oh yeah, he made like a mountain, I remember now. It's out very flat. As flat as you can get it. Get tough with it. And come across. Get that little roll of paint. So sick of making mountains. Knife. Let's go back up here. Now then, let's have some snow just coming right down the side of this mountain. Wherever you want it to go. No pressure. No pressure at all. Just let it flow. You want that paint to break. You want all these little holes left in it. There you go. See it? And you 
you can wiggle that knife and cause all kinds of little effects to happen. All kinds of trouble. Let it go. Stand right up here on the top. Pretend that I did. Lawn, a little bit of snow, right? Okay. Have each other. There. That would have been. Right down. Maybe it joins together. Yeah, this totally looks like the northern lights. I feel like I should have also just made that a tent. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. There's some light striking right over here on that little ridge. Let's begin with our shadows. For the shadows, we'll take the blue and the white, mix it together. Like so. Maybe we'll make that a little bit lighter. It's still a little dark for what I want. That's much better. Cut across it. Our little roll of paint again. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, I know. No it's. Pressure. I don't think it's. No pressure. Just let it barely caress the canvas. Uh. And just begin laying in all kinds of little things. Anywhere you want. A little ridge. Okay, hold on a second. Just drop it in. This is your painting, your world. You can do anything that you want. Oh, please. Torture. This one, and pull it distinctly through, and it pushes that. I should have just back. done straight lines. What's wrong with you? Have that kind of power? Fuck this. Push mountains around. Or I go home. Just let me draw lines, Bob. Sure, but here I can push around anything. Yeah, that looks like snow. Trees and ridges. That looks just like snow. That's what snow looks like. That's what a mountain looks like, and that's what snow looks like. Put a happy little peak right up there. Bob Ross has finessed you on this one. Yeah, I know. I thought it was going to be a cool one. I was like, I like space and stuff like that. And now I'm like, I guess I can only draw things that happen uh, on the ground. I cannot, like, figure out the mountains. I got, like, that was, that was part of the reason that I skipped the one that came up, because it was uh, another mountain range one, and I was like, I don't want to draw more mountains. Look at where the fuck we are. I'm going to just make them all tense next year. Once again, right here, we need to have another shadow. I can't do all these shadows. Bob, you're expecting a lot from me, dude. It allows all kinds of things to happen. Now, let's take a clean, dry, two-inch brush, and I'm going to gently, gently tap, following the angles and the mountain. Always tappy, tappy, tappy. And tap more down here at the base than you do up here. Up here, you just barely uh, whisper. Bob. Down at the bottom, you I, tap it a you're a hard. genius, but like, you get, fuck like, you. Paint on your brush, just take, beat the devil out of it, and that'll remove the excess paint right off your brush without going through a lot of cleaning. We're just gonna do that. No. See how soft that, that that's a uh, that's uh that gets the point across. You follow these angles. Bob, can we move on from the mountain, please? I hate doing the mountain. I thought the main point of this was gonna be northern lights, not fucking there. northern mountain. Very gently. Takes out all those little tap marks, softens, blends, creates the illusion of mist. Just like so. That easy. You have one fantastic mountain. It's that easy. Yeah. There you go, mountain. You have one fantastic mountain. Okay. Yikes. Play some more. Let's find us a fan brush. I think we'll just go right into this mixture we had before. We made the mountain with it. It was black, a uh, little blue, a little bend. I'm not using the same color I used when I made the mountain. That was so ugly. Brush. Load that brush full of paint. Or I'll open all the paint up, up and then I'll that like real dark. Back up here. Maybe there's some so much of trees live back here. These are far away. And all all right, trees in space. Far, far back in the distance. I know what. Far away. There. I know we're on Earth. There we go. Okay, let's get a little more paint. So you're using the top part of that brush and just tap downward. That's all there is to it. All there is to it. Now you don't want to kill all this misty area. You. you kill this mist that's right up here. Mist this. These trees will run right into the mountain. You want 
to stay separated. So don't kill you. Don't worry, I'm, they're staying separated. Putting these trees. Well, I could put some other trees. Right here in this mountain area, they may be your best friend. It make, makes the mountain look like it's fucking far as shit. No. So now if you get these two Thank God, forward, get that mountain away from us. Like fence post. <laughs> so if you, if you little evergreens that are far in the distance begin looking like fence posts, chances are you just don't have enough. Add a few more and see if it doesn't, doesn't help take care of that little problem. It's fine. Well, not easy. We got Bob, I think my main concern is the rest of my painting. All the way across. Yeah, then we can take another fan brush, and I have I have several of them going here, so I don't have to don't have to continually wash them. We take a little blue and white. This was just a little of the shadow color that was left over. Let's go up here. I want to just pop in some indication of some happy little tree trunks just in the bottom touch it pull it straight up just touch pull straight up very lightly very lightly just enough to create a little little light area down here at the base of these trees it just makes them a little prettier yeah so you're playing that's a lot prettier light. right light. makes my trees a lot prettier Continually. tell me I'm pretty tell me I'm pretty tell me I'm pretty tell me I'm pretty I didn't want this to be another mountain one. We can start playing Bob. We'll take that same old black color. Just you said this was Northern Lights. Brush. Just black, blue. A lot of paint. Look at this. That brush is really full. Okay. Let's go Fuck. And we just pop in a Fuck. I really yeah. fucked this one up, didn't I, boys? Tell him you're pretty. I'm pretty. He didn't stop. See that little light area now? Is your separator, it's your divider. There. Just like so. Now then, I'll go back to this fan brush. It's got mainly white on it. Oh, fuck. Like that? God, Christ. Bob. Freaking me out here. Some touch of the, liquid oil. <laughs> the fucking. This mountain is pathetic. Now then, I'm gonna cry. This and begin pushing upward to create just some happy little grassy areas back here. Allow it to mix with that color it's underneath, all the blues and blacks. So it creates all kinds of little things. There we go. Maybe it comes right along in there, wherever you want it. I don't think this is what it's supposed to look like. Maybe there's one out there. We'll have this one go up. Just what my painting is supposed to look like. I think I'm out. I think I messed up some more. Let's take a two-inch brush and I'm just gonna tap it into a little of the titanium white. Just just gently tap it. You see? Okay, let's go up here. Now I want a happy little reflection to live right underneath here. All you need is white because the color is already on the canvas. Just pull it straight down. Straight down. And start where you want it to be the brightest, and then work outward in both directions. Oh. Automatically, it'll get darker as it works away from that area. Now, with a clean brush, pull it down firmly. Bob. Like so. And this is turning out the Just worst. Right and then go lightly across. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Now, then. I'm going to take a little bit of liquid white and a little bit of titanium white and mix it together. Pull it out flat, get a little roll of paint on the knife, tiny little roll. There it is. There it is. Let's go up here and just put the indication of a little snow. It's laying right along the base of that. And just barely touching the canvas. Just barely touching it. Cool. Allow it to mix with that color that's underneath. Don't fight these. Don't fight them. Let them, just let them happen. Too much about them. Imagine you went to Alaska to see the Northern Lights and it looked like this. I tell you what, let's, let's play a little. The blue and the black on the fan brush. Maybe right here lives an evergreen that's a little bigger. You go a little touch closer. And we'll drop him in right there. Just like that. And he 
lives right out there. We'll give him a little friend That's... when he's lonely. He's just sitting right here watching the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis, whatever you want to call it. Easier to say Northern Lights. And then I'm going to take a little touch of that blue and white mixture and float it on the fan brush and come right along here. Just put the indication of a few little highlights. These trees are far away. I don't want too many. If you get too many, just take your dark paint, go right back over them. It'll eat it right up. All right. All right. Now then, let's have some fun. Let's put in some bigger Let's have some fun some this beat. Color. Sit. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. Mix it well. Okay, let's go right up here. Ready? Yep. I see a big tree that lives right there. Start with just the corner of the fan brush. Work it back and forth. Back and forth. And as you work down the tree, add more and more pressure. Down here, you're getting tough. Oh, you're really taking out all your frustrations down here. Oh, wait, he's... There we go. Just really bang it in there. Bang it! There's another tree here. Really bang it. Back and forth. Back and forth. See, I think everything's like people. I've made so many fantastic friends with painting. I think everything's got to have friends. Trees and bushes and everything needs friends and everybody needs a friend god i'm going on the other side over here let's shoot let's get crazy i want one that goes way up and goes all the way through this northern light way out of you bob paint northern lights as are our painters this is just one interpretation yeah mine's what they look like to me. certainly an interpretation i would say Really makes a beautiful painting. And these black canvases, when you change the light source, the painting changes. You put this under three different lights, and you'd almost, you'd almost believe you had three different paintings. It changes that much. Yeah, it looks like I have almost three different three paintings different. on the screen, isn't it? Like, and fucking amazing. Try these how that happens? How like Bob Ross can magically transform this MS Paint? Have asked me how do I tell what color <laughs> is transparent? There's a very, very simple test. In fact, I'll tell you what, while the camera's right there, I'll show you. Take a color like blue. Bring the camera right in here so we can see. See, if you take this blue and rub it on here, that still looks black. That color is transparent. Now then, let's take a color, okay, let's You're use bright red. That's a very opaque color. When you put it there, ooh, see what happens? I need tree. That color is not transparent. It will not do for what we're trying to do here. That's a good test. Of course, now we got a red spot on the canvas. And he just sacrificed his canvas. Trees cover up a multitude of sins. Uh, we'll have another sins? One. Yeah, we'll put him right here. Way right there. There he is. This is still the blue Lighter. The midnight black. Okay, I'm gonna get a, a one inch brush. We'll use it for a little bit. Take that same color, the blue and the black. Shoot, we'll grab a little bit of this lighter color and put it in there. Pull that brush in one direction. Load it full of paint. It's a very dark blue. Okay, let's go right up here. And maybe we're gonna have some happy little snow covered bushes. So all we're doing is just beginning to lay in some of the very basic shapes. You're not looking for detail yet. Only very basic shapes. Very basic. Okay, let's go right over in here. Maybe there's a happy bush. Yep, it is right there. It comes right on out. Or just wherever you want them. Wherever you want them. You can have as many or as few. I'll do. Just, well, it needs to just let your imagination take you. If you've never been to Alaska, you're to go see well, it. Add some up. It's almost unreal. I was born and raised in Florida. And was, <laughs> I was almost 20 years old before I ever saw snow. And my favorite uncle, Uncle Sam, 
He sent me up there. I know that Maybe uncle. I thought that would be funny. <laughs> it was funny. I uh, I got off the plane. The first thing I did was stepped on the ice and fell on my bottom. Uh. I didn't know how to walk on ice. Now I'm taking some liquid white and going right into titanium white. All in one direction. We'll put a little tiny bit of blue in there. Dude, one as much as it sucks living in Arizona where it's hot all the time, it's um. Now then. I feel like at least nicer than having to deal with snow and ice because yeah it's hot as shit but at least when i get in my car it's just like getting into an oven instead of having to like sit there and wait for ice to thaw or like scrape shit off my window or driving on ice or walking on ice and snow and shit like that that sounds so beautiful like a huge pain in the ass full foliage so beautiful and the light plays through it and these all these little ice covered frosty things they act like prisms and they break up the light and you see all colors in the trees in the dead of winter you can see just oh you have to go see it i can't can't explain it all to you it's light so pretty but there's a nice bush just grows right out of that brush and we'll put another one right i'm there. sorry i've completely lost control of this painting uh, i i lost the second he started painting fucking like that dark color on the black canvas i was done i fucking my brain just went with the completion of this painting what are you doing step uncle step uncle sam what are you doing over a hundred shows now over a hundred shows take a little day here put a little highlight on those trees i really hope you've got to see all the shows if there's any of them that you've missed, and you'd like to see them, give your station a call. Let them know. Let them know what you want to see. And when they need some help, give them a hand. There we are. Let's go over to this tree. Don't want him to be left out. There. Just here and there. Don't kill all the dark contrast. That's what makes it pretty. Contrast. You know I gotta have a little cabin in here. So maybe with all this paint I have on here, I'm gonna scrape out just the basic shape to get rid of Dude. the paint. Dude, you son of a bitch. That's a good way to lay out your, your initial cabin shape. Start with a little bit of mm. Van Dyke Brown and I'll mix some dark sienna right in that. Just mix them together. Pull it across, maybe a little front on that cabin. Winding down this series, I'd like to take just a minute and thank the people here at the television station. Hang on a sec. One Hang of the on a sec. crews in the country, and they they make some of these beautiful television shows. And you never see them. You may never they never get a thank you. But if it wasn't for them, there would there wouldn't be any show. A little bit of brown and white here, just to put some highlight on it. Give them a little door. Boop. Supposed to be like red bricks. Snow up here in June. Just like so. And that gives us a quick little cabin where we can just bring some snow right down like that. See how easy that is? Put some snow over here on the other side of the roof. We don't want that one to be left out. The roof is covered in snow for me. It's, it was it. very snowy. Pay attention to your angles when you're laying the snow in. Angles are very important. Very important. Yeah. There we go. Angle. Just put all kinds of little snow things here. Okay, let's go back in here. Pick up some of the liquid white. Go right into my titanium white. Load the brush full. And let's pop a few more little bushes right in. Work in layers, completing the most distant part of your painting first and working forward. Just like so. A few little bushy things over in here. And we're on the verge of having a completed painting. We're on the verge! Take we're on the verge! Scratch through. And let some of these little sticks and twigs show. Bob, I've been finished. And this one's about done. Once again, I'd like to thank you for being with me during this eighth Joy of Painting series. 
We have the ninth series under production already, so we'll see you again from all of us here. Happy painting. God bless. I literally don't have anything to say because it's... Like Steve was saying before, which one is which? I can't even tell. Because, I don't know, it, like, it might even be better. It might be better. This might be the best one that I've done the whole stream so far. Uh, Northern Lights is a good weed. Um, how long until mid-patch update? Hold on. Gotta reload Stream Raiders, apparently. Be able to check how many there are left. Okay, there's, there's like a minute left until the next Stream Raiders battle. Uh, so we're just gonna do that first. I'm trying to decide if I should, if I want to do one more or if I want to stop. I'm getting a little bit tired. But I also, like, on one hand, I'm getting really tired, and on the other hand, uh, I want to end on a better note. Like, not such a shitty, uh, drawing, you know? Because the other, because the first one was, like, and the middle two came out, like, pretty decent, and then this one came out, meh. Not good. Um... I don't know. You can't get better than that perfect depiction of the Northern Lights. You know what, Steve? I think you're right. Maybe it is the best one to leave off on, because after all, it was the masterpiece of the day. The bottle is ready. I forgot that I was... Uh, okay, so we're going to do high ground. Stick it like there, probably. Beep! 15 units. Epic kills. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just let me do the voice acting. I just want to be part of this game. Boys? Oh. Three? Oh, I was like, where the fuck are they? Oh my god, they've got to do that one, and then they've got to go all the way up to the top and do the other one. <laughs> the music fucking abruptly restarting. Understandable. Alright, boys. Speed it up a little. Nineteen kills from fucking me. Yeah, you got it. You guys, uh, you guys are good. I think you won. Did it? Up. Wow. Some people are getting some coins and prizes. Um. Rock Pillar, you keep complimenting my drawing, so that's cool. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that I'm gonna end it there. Uh. I feel like I had a good four paintings. I can do this again. Uh. For another stream. Um, and I'll put the I'll put all the stuff that I did in the artsy fartsy channel of the Discord of the Foop Discord, which you should join. But um. 
the Nightbot, wrong one. Come on, dude. Uh, yeah, I don't have the link, but I think it's in our about. You can join our Discord, and there's an Odyssey Fartsy channel, and you'll be able to see all the beautiful paintings that I did in that a little bit later today. Um... <clears throat> So tomorrow is Thursday. Okay, so the previous few weeks we've been doing Jackbox on Wednesdays, uh, but I just I made the executive decision to move it to Thursdays because I think it might work a little bit better. Uh, so tomorrow at noon we'll be starting Jackbox. <clears throat> uh, we'll probably try and fit in a little bit of the Ven games, uh, like the thing that we played a couple weeks ago that's basically the same thing as Jackbox, just all browser-based. Um, we'll do that Thursday. Friday, uh, we start at noon. I don't know what we're doing on... I don't remember what we're doing on Friday or Saturday or Sunday. I don't remember what we're doing any of those days, which is bad of me. I'm the one who makes the schedule, but, you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, it, either way, it'll, it should be around noon, uh, all weekend, and then on Monday will be shit show. Um, yeah, so, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me very accurately depict Bob Ross paintings through MS Paint. I think it turned out very well, and I think everything turned out as a masterpiece, and like I said, you can see everything again in, uh, the Discord. I see that uh, Steve has gambled away all of his pooples, and I'm, uh, I apologize uh, for you. Oh, shit, it may, okay, so there's the Discord server, Nightbot uh, pulled through this time. Just took him a minute, I guess. Eight Ball didn't want to pull through, but you, if you had asked Nightbot, like, it probably would have happened right away, you know. This Nightbot's cool. Uh, but yeah, so, I am going to go and take a fat nap because I'm very tired from all of my hard work today. Thank you guys very much for tuning in and I hope that you are here tomorrow too. Bye! Yeah.